up everybody collector joey here and we are back again for another week of cop or drop thank you guys so much i already see 16 of y'all in here and i really appreciate it appreciate you guys always being live and i appreciate the people that are watching on the replay y'all make everything run i appreciate like i said it like five times already i appreciate y'all um but anyways guys today should be a special one we do have some of the ogs back uh reverse zeal i don't know if he's coming or not last time i heard that he had a headache so uh i i, I didn't know if he was coming or not we'll see throughout the uh, episode if he stops by or not but let's get the first person out here i want to get mr austin nicholas out here uh, i make sure i make sure you're good before i i, no. I, I, <laughs> I put you hey, on hey what up what up not much man thank you for having me on i'm ready for another episode of copper drop hang out with my friends yes yes it's gonna be a good one and I, I showed you that i wanted to i've been having these for like three weeks sitting right in front of me and i wanted to open it like here in a second maybe uh while we're talking live that would be kind of fun it's only a few cards i'd be uh, excited to see what you get yeah because i don't know you did the video i don't know if you did uh if, I, I saw you didn't get much good did you open a second one mm -hmm. you haven't opened the second one yet okay. no i think i'm gonna do that for instagram because the okay. youtube one did poorly <laughs> oh man you, I guys, had fun, you know yeah I had fun doing it so i may just move i may just make it a short instead of an actual video that would be better i think shorts yeah. get a lot get a lot more um traction with that kind of stuff um but if you guys haven't watched it make sure you'll go check it out see what he got in the box <laughs> um today uh today might might not be a long episode but we're gonna we never know what happens when we get to talking though so we, we never know um and i kind of have like a sore throat i drank some coffee earlier and or well yesterday and like when i drank it it burnt like so bad like it burnt my lip and my tongue and when i like whenever i drank it it like burnt the back of my throat and i didn't think nothing of it but then when i woke up this morning it hurt like it hurt hurt so, oh if you have a clean lineup look at yeah. that oh yeah 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 it's it's pretty clean it's pretty clean uh but uh let's get danny out here uh right here what is up danny how are you i'm sorry about your throat bro that sounds bro, bro. it feels just like a sore throat like it's crazy but I, I i thought i was getting sick but then i remembered that exact spot burned like it, i burned it whenever i i drank the coffee ouch you gotta yeah. be more bro you know maybe yeah. just ice coffees for you for now i know right <laughs> yeah i can't even drink coffee right <laughs> shit <laughs> I, uh oh, thank you for having me on uh, course, welcome Danny. to Copper drop everybody yeah. uh, also for those who may not notice yet right above danny seems to be a new figure in the collection the, the we soups. see it we see it soups Look at that. And I don't think he, you, plug you, it you, I appreciate you, brother. And and the uh cyborg too. That cyborg looking cyborg, good, yeah. man. Peeping Wonder Woman too that I picked up in Texas with the all uh -huh. one, so. She looks yeah. pretty good even without the wings. She looks pretty clean. Yeah, I was going for that pose of uh what is it, the Prime One or Queen Studios mm -hmm. the statue yeah. Or golden, yeah. So it looks uh, clean. Dang. Um I, I remember Austin saying that uh that she's going for pretty low on 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 sideshow right now, or at least earlier, at least a couple yeah, days ago. Couple, what was it? A couple nights ago, you could have snagged her for like one seventy two after taxes and shipping. Well, wait, so was it the the lux? Because the lux <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> this was I was tempted. I was tempted. But I was so good. I was like, you know what? Even if I buy her, she probably like the figure is still probably stay in the box. I would want to like have her wings on display, but I wouldn't be able to. So I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna bide my time. If you get Cyborg, it looks really cool paired up next to each other with the chrome and the silver, uh, with the gold. Yeah. So Bro, that Suicide Squad is looking good too, man. That looks great. I'm like, I'm really disappointed, James Gunn. What you said, Peacemaker season one's not canon. So does that mean my boys over here is oh, not? Yeah, that's true. 
Thank you for having me. Of course. Look, look, it's better though that they make these decisions yeah. now before his cinematic universe starts. Mm. And then, yeah. then it gets wonky, you know? So like if he changes the title from Superman Legacy to just Superman, and he if he takes Peacemaker out of canon, which sucks. What, what, it's after. confusing because he says that like season two's canon, but season one's not canon. So I'm like, so That's all the weird. characters. You think it's back. a soft reboot then in season, in season yeah. one? Yeah. So do all these characters exist, though, is my question. Yeah. Like, did that all that happen? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He just got so, screwed. <laughs> yeah, like, because... Uh, no, the, the movie's still good, though. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be a connected universe, you know? I, say, I still have yeah. my Snyderverse right here. It can fit right in. So. Yeah, I mean, look at all the other Batmans you have, you know? <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. You have a DC extended universe. I do. Elseworlds display. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Now I bet you guys are wondering who I have next. If Zio isn't here, someone that I you know. I know. Oh Some yeah. Very evil. Very malicious. Yes. We got the dark Jedi right here. What up, my baby? Guy. That's Look my boy it. Zio is missing it. I got a little friend with me here oh, too. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, when did that this guy just arrive today? What? Oh, today. That was okay. a very yes, subtle flex. Yes, people. there he is. There he is. There he is. Mm. What'd you say, Austin? That was a pretty subtle flex. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. I uh, actually like forgot it was sitting over here. I wanted to bring it on camera, but yes, That's got cool. that figure today. You know, um, you know it's funny that yeah, you forgot it was sitting right there. It seems like everybody else forgot. That's a thing now. I know. That, That's why I brought it on. Don't forget. Captain Jack Sparrow. Don't forget about one yeah. of the goats, everybody, right here. Did, one of the goats. Did you see that picture? <laughs> a lot of people were upset about a picture. I looked at it, but I didn't know exactly what it was. What um, picture? It was like a picture of all those like stacked up inside like a mall or something like that. Oh yeah. What yeah, is so that? Like, at, at the, yeah, uh, I saw a post about that. Like, so was it someone buying that many, like a hundred of them. So I think it was like at Secret Base, but like, I was talking to some. I was talking to a couple people about this, but. Mm -hmm. over in like over when it goes for sale like people apparently will get like will get like elderly people to camp out for them and like pay them a small wage to do it and like oh wow buy a certain amount of figures per yeah to buy a certain amount of figures and then they'll get them and then like they'll get them for them they'll pay them a little money and then those people will camp out and buy a bunch of the figures and then get those for the people who want to resell them yeah bro, so that's what can... that was at like uh, imagine yeah. camping out for figures bro like I wouldn't. Yeah. Nah, I probably. Uh, I probably. I've camped wouldn't. out for some. Think about it though. Wait, 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 Danny. Think about it. I don't know about you guys. I used to wait for like a movie theater. Like, yeah. I would wait like five to six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No lie. Yeah, if we didn't have the internet, this. dude. If we didn't have like what we have now, I, I think about like when consoles would come out and you'd go to like midnight launches mm -hmm. for like Xbox and PlayStation stuff. Could you imagine like if we had no ability to get these online and we just had to like camp out for figures? I wish I would, that would be it. so fun, man. I would we, have like, that would be fun. Yeah, look, yeah, I'll I would be... probably have less too. But like, look, think about look, wouldn't look. that be fun if it was like the only way you're getting this is if you go wait in line at the store? Like, Ooh, it would be, be cool. actually kind like, of. One of the, I guess one of the positive things about that is you'd be that much more selective, mm -hmm. you know, of what you bring yeah. into your collection. Because I, I don't know about you guys, it, it's easy to order something online, right? Spin a spend a few bucks or maybe a lot of bucks on a figure mm -hmm. but your time you know several hours even overnight waiting for something man kind of like how funko used to be funko used to be like that where you have to go and wait and target um whenever yeah. i first got in the game and then uh and then after that it started going online and then online started being asked because all the bots would would take everything and then that's yeah. when i stopped could y'all imagine though like a, a time because i missed those days right because austin you didn't collect growing up right you know no. steve you did joey you came in with the funko scene right so mm -hmm. steve, you remember this time where like toys r us when a new figure would come out whether it be mcfarlane or star wars black series figure or marvel legend like it was a, it was a big deal for collectors like you had to go race to beat the other scalpers and that was the yeah i did that for black series a couple times like <laughs> got at the store super early Next dude and it was fun yeah. so could you guys imagine if like if like you said see that there was no internet if there was no online shopping for hot toys and like there was wow. more distributors and stores that would i would prefer that versus shopping online right dude, I, I'll, I'll tell you this one of the things i do miss fun. like collecting like the smaller scale stuff like back when i used to collect like funkos or like marvel legends or black series i would wake up early on saturday mornings man and i would hit up like the walmarts around me the targets yeah. you know, like i would spend the, you know three or four hours, you know, 8 a.m. to maybe noon, 
just driving around get your starbucks and just hit up the stores like that was fun mm -hmm. and and black friday black friday was really fun too I, I i used to have a lot of fun with black friday but oh no i haven't gone the last like maybe two or three yeah black fridays it's just fun. No point for me we would all go and just hang out and, and be really fun <laughs> i just remember going like black when i collected black series i would like when i uh when i lived in a different city in wisconsin like when i lived in madison there was a uh there were like six walgreens within probably like I don't know, like a five mile radius. So mm -hmm. I would just like drive around to all the Walgreens and try to find like oh the Black God. Series exclusives. And then also like, have you guys ever heard of BrickSeek? Do you know what that website yes. is? Yeah, yes. I used to. Yeah. Dude, I so I used to BrickSeek like all the Walmarts for whenever they drop Black Series exclusives. And then yeah. like, I would go hunt hunt them down at the Walmarts and like ask, ask that... the people there, like, can you go check the back <laughs> well, and try oh, to I, find I them? I don't know if you guys had these experiences though. Like, yeah, when you were like hunting stores, Mm -hmm. You know, and you see another guy, and they're like flipping through like the Black Series. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I immediately I start a conversation. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I get talked to a few people, from, like yeah. a couple local people. You know, who collect those smaller scale stuff that way, mm -hmm. or even just random strangers you talk to for like ten minutes. No, Austin's on to something because, like, dude, back in the day, you'd be smart about it. You'd make a buddy right there because when I was growing yeah. up, there was this uh, comic book shop that would get a new Marvel Legends, new Black Series, and whatnot. And I made little friends there. They would have, you know wealthier parents or whatever like they'd go out there more often or lay back more dads whatever they have you and be like hey text me bro if you see obi-wan kenobi in the from the revenge of the sith line i need you to let me know okay snag it for me okay <laughs> now yeah, you go to walmart like shit you look back at our uh copper drop reunion videos we go me and austin and joey and zeal went to walmart mm -hmm. that section was crap man they don't have anything yeah. fair, like, fair baby yeah. speaking of zeal Hey guys. Whoa! Holy crap. Look yeah. what he's he He's all, he's wait, all wait, like wait, wait, wait. I think What up, baby? Oh, my, my bad, man. I was I was out camping minutes, for some right? figures right now. <laughs> I was out uh, camping for some figures. I was, I, was camping for, I was camping for that uh that Captain uh, Sparrow. Oh uh, <laughs> Zeal been up for twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Take, bro, I, bro, I saw his. I, I saw your message, like that you had a headache, and I was like, "Damn, I barely saw this." And I was just like, "I don't know how are you feeling yeah, now." Man. I feel a lot better, man. Oh, I yeah, just needed good. some sleep, man. I needed some sleep, but yeah. um, excited to be here, man. Thank you all so yeah. much for uh, letting me come in a little bit in later, man. Steve, uh, it's good, good to see you, baby. What up, Zio? Yeah, um, bro, good to see you, man. Yeah, man, it's good great. To see all great you conversation guys. so far, man. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'd collect as much. I agree with y'all. If we had to camp for stuff a uh, couple years ago maybe now nah, it's been a little bit over 10 years i camped out for some jordans yeah um uh, i ain't never doing that again man it was freezing <laughs> yeah, it was raining game, oh my gosh so mm -hmm. yeah man i'm with y'all man i would yeah, camp yeah. out um like for autographs like to get autographs oh, yeah. From, yeah yeah from, yeah from uh from players and stuff and so my this may be a hot take. look this may be a hot take. i know what you're gonna say yeah, autographs, man. They don't do. They don't. I don't, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know neither. why I like them. Me I don't neither. know why I like. I them. I it just doesn't do anything for me, man. I don't know. More power to you if you like autographs, but there's just something yeah. that like it just doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, See, it's neat. really cool. I think it's yeah. I think it's cooler like meeting the person. Like if you could meet, I would rather just like meet and talk to the individual like than get them mm -hmm. to just sign something because you know they yeah, sign so much it. stuff. It's not like real all that personal, you know. Yeah. Unless they really remember you for something, but I would rather just like I like meeting people. I don't really it's we it's so it's kind of an interesting thing like to have somebody just take a pen and just write their name I could... that's such a like sought after thing it's really interesting right i feel like it's like it's really interesting that that's such a big like valued thing like oh somebody wrote their name on something I know. i've just never been into I, it but... it's weird i thought of it like that too yeah. though I, I but it's you cool know what? it's cool if you like it i'm gonna ask in the chat now i'm gonna ask you guys too so would you rather take a picture or an autograph picture. and i'm gonna do that okay picture let's see picture bro Picture or auto. So y'all are all saying. I think I'd rather take a picture too. I mean, picture. yeah, pick. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the picture is going to like encapsule like that memory quite yeah. a bit more. For sure. Because like, it, yeah. what, what what are they going to sign? Like my Hot Toys base. I'm probably not really going to look at that much. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. It could be uh, uh, autographs are good for displaying as well, though. So. Yeah, I mean, you're no. not wrong. I, no. I, I, for whatever reason, you know, I still like Funkos just because I collect 6 L. I still like Funkos a lot, and I like seeing that people have signed the Funkos. You they, know? they sign like, it with like the with like the paint pens as well. That looks yeah. so cool. You know, 
um what looks really cool uh sign or um i can't remember right now his 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 uh username on instagram but he has a bunch of like prop sabers mm. um and um he always streams with feezy alex um i can't remember his his full username but he has like the prop sabers from the star wars movies like uh one-to-one models like uh clones of the of the sabers and they have like the signatures of the people who worked on that so that's kind of cool because that's yeah. almost like an engineering sign off mm-hmm. you know what i mean kind of like you you get onto an elevator and it's like who certified this baby i was like this, <laughs> this guy did. you know what i mean so, <laughs> so that's 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 a different kind of cool thing um but yeah like like the like the I mean, it's not as epic, obviously, but like when you get a Batmobile from like Jazz Inc., like he'll mm-hmm. sign it or, or like uh, Zack Snyder signed it and he signed it. I thought that was pretty cool. That is cool. Right? I like I, that. That's a, I that's think more interesting thing. than that, I think. Yeah. But uh, like, yeah, I agree with you, man. Meeting a celebrity, I think uh, taking a picture over over the signature, yeah. definitely. Signed picture, Renz. Playing the game. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the, I'm gonna go through the chat right now. Then we'll look at, look at the results of that one. Yeah. Um, but it can never be too early from Graham right here. I was early to his show yesterday, so he returned the favor. Thank you so much, Graham. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Appreciate you. Uh, Nick Collectibles is here, uh, is here as well, saying no invite for Toby Talk. My bad, Nick. You know, my bad, my bad. We've, all, <laughs> we have been doing the Toby Talks. So, Dang, that's a cool, that's a cool thing. Toby Talk. That's a funny one. Um, Clinton Martin, howdy, folks. Hello, uh, I see you got the Giants uh, logo there. I believe the Rangers. Uh, it was their opening day today, so that's really cool. After the championship, um, MB Dyson is here as well. The realist, what is up, MB Dyson? Hopefully, uh, know, that you know. if you know, you know. Uh, MB Dyson, hopefully that um, that Mysterio is still holding up for you. Uh, let me know. Yeah. Nice. Uh, acknowledge me. <laughs> what is up, O3 <laughs> Mills? How are you? He always says that. Glad you're here oh. every week, too. Uh, Christian Cooper here, too. What is up, my guy? Hopefully we can get you on here one day. Um, uh, I know uh, Dan the Bat, the Bat Fan wants to be on here one day as well. I think I have him for the 28th, so if you guys want to um, come by that day and see him, too, uh, that's going to be fun. We got Jose uh, G. Hernandez here saying, hello, everyone. What is up, Jose? Oh, Glad okay. you are here. Awesome guy in the community as well. Uh, still waiting. Uh, <laughs> uh, what a Brad. Brad's an awesome guy as well. Man, Brad, Brad's so cool. Um, I see. I, I I see. He does like like some food stuff on Instagram or something like that. I forgot what it was. But Brad, you are an awesome guy. Uh, Myra is in here as well. A channel member, also yeah, channel member, uh, saying hi everyone. Go hit that like button. Yes. So uh, me and Myra closed on our house today officially. So um, I can actually bring that up for you guys while we're on this topic. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate you. I feel like bro, big dubs. <laughs> yes, I feel like y'all have been congratulating so far. I feel so bad every well, time. It's a big, do, like, it's a big moment. Yeah. It's not only like, yeah, dude. It's so exciting for both of you, but you guys get together and. Make- Major, major cop, bro. Major cop. Yeah, and and cop and makes me have to drop a few things too. But this is us <laughs> today. So uh, uh, this is us getting the house. If you guys wanted to see that, it was really really awesome experience. Uh, I always see these pictures like this, and uh, it's really cool to be uh, have, take a picture with Myra like that. So Damn. that was an awesome time. Um, I take that. Thank you so much, uh, Myra. Love you, so um, bro. See, uh, Daniel Brancato here, of course, always awesome guy too, as well, channel member too. Thank you so much for uh, being a Joey. It's highly appreciated. Uh, we got Evil Sneaker here using his two months. I forget that we can use those things. And member milestones. The member milestones. Yes, I needed. Yeah, cool. I need to use those. Yeah. So he says the chat mess. Uh, the chat message is limited and worth a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're gonna talk about that. We are gonna talk about that. Well, foreshadowing. Yeah. Uh, Batman Collectibles is here as well. Awesome guy. I see him on the Wolf Pack a lot as well. Uh, talking in the chats. Hello, What's hello. What's up, bro? What's up? Uh, feel, feel better, man. I, I I'll try, man. I will try. Yeah, Hopefully that sucks, it Joey. Damn, bro. It, Burning like, your mouth on coffee is the worst. And then when you swallow it, like literally just freaking scalding. Yeah, that really sucks, bro. Like, yeah. I, it's like it felt like like a stab in my throat yesterday. Yeah, that sucks, man. And then I was like, nothing happened, but then maybe now it's healing. 
and now it's like oh crap like it really hurts like danny said ice coffee for joey ice coffee for me i, I can't ice even coffee. do that right um <laughs> We got uh, Calvin in here. What is up? Calvin was on the Wolfpack yesterday. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about Calvin, you can go Cal. and uh, go watch the Wolfpack after this. That that would be awesome. Um, all cop, no drop. Yes, sir, William. What is up, William? My guy, William. I, oh, man. I know he's um, Austin's good friend, too. But uh, I always see William. He, he he's, he's a really good staple in this community, especially on Facebook. He's really active on Facebook, which I like. Not only one of my best friends, but yeah, yeah man, he is, he's a moderator for a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of uh, six scale hot toy groups, mm-hmm. and uh, probably the best toy hunter, six scale toy hunter there is. So. Yeah, I bet. All cop, no drop. I love that. I love that. Thank you, William. I really appreciate it. Uh, Collection obsession channel member. Hello, hello. Also, uh, I forgot to say uh, Calvin channel member as well. Uh, but thank you so much for using those emojis still. Sneaker using the emojis. Texas boy, 210, another Texas representative out here. Yo, what's up, everyone? What is up? Love that freaking profile picture as well. Looking amazing. Lando. Oh. <laughs> Talking to Steve. <laughs> Steve someone's going to send you a Lando one day. It's going to happen. It's got to happen. Hey, man. Seems anybody like wants to, uh, I'll give you my address. You can send me a send a Lando my way as a gift. That'd be awesome. I'll do a review on it for you. Special <laughs> special review on my channel. Hey, <laughs> uh, hello, uh, community funny. of collector. I scored an artisan jack. It looked like a lot of people did get to get the artisan jack that, that was there. Yeah, so nice. good job, um, Moose Stream. Uh, I know Moose Stream likes to go for those uh, those good deals on eBay and stuff like that too. Uh, he has always talking about how he scores on ebay i need to i need to try ebay here soon uh hey y'all catching the replay i grabbed the artisan today super stoked west michigan collector yes and this is my guy right here he's he's a newer guy to the community so welcome welcome him here where's he from what what part of michigan are you from i know this is west but yeah i'd be curious in the chat if you want if you're okay with sharing yeah. Well, I don't know if he left already because this was. He said he grabbed the. Or replay. if you watch oh, the replay, yeah, my bad. <laughs> he could a comment on Facebook. You can, ta- you can tag me. Yeah. <laughs> He's on YouTube. Don't Maybe find me. Comment. Yeah. I'm always uh, interested. I miss going to Toys R Us hunting for a figure. Felt so badass when he found it. That is yeah, very dude, true. Spider Man three line, Nick. Oh my god. <laughs> I've camped out for several kicks over the years, sneakerhead. <laughs> uh. Uh, spongebob square balls channel member as well what is up classy thomas man another staple in the community man one of the nicest guys i think i've ever met on here he is super duper nice christian cooper saying i got the artist in jack sparrow baby uh thanks to austin for letting me know and my sister got um got a 180 number oh quite a while uh, i had three thousand three thousand uh 100 damn so you you let him know austin uh, that it was live or what I did, yeah. You know, updated yeah. everybody on my stories. Oh yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Uh, me and Myra were, were eating at a nice restaurant for lunch today, and and we were doing. That's when I ordered it because it was like right at that time, and uh, I kept refreshing it. And then like at 15 minutes, I refreshed, and it was, it was ready to go. Like both of us did it because she has an account as well. Um, and the uh, that's what I got the artisan Anakin on her account, but uh, yeah. Uh, excuses uh, he was like yeah uh, i'm not, bro, I'm not I loading <laughs> i was there like right right on time i think it's just stu- stupid <laughs> random because you guys i don't know if you guys were kept refreshing refreshing refre- well, i guess we'll talk about it later we'll talk about it when we talk about Maybe it a little segue yeah yeah, yeah. i gotta get to these chats everybody's here Rin, especially look who it is rins look at that picture he has down Ooh, there that man. is so dope bro, bro. That's crazy how someone can actually draw that good and with the I was looking at it and like with the shadows and everything with the with the lines going down her face and how Yeah man. It's amazing. Uh check out Rin's uh channel member as well. Check him out on Instagram. Beautiful artwork. Um had to pull over my F three fifty and trailer uh to purchase it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's dedication. It is. Yeah. We have Miami's nemesis in here. Now he's starting to change these profile pictures. Come on, Chris. Come you know on. what? I like when I like when people do change up their profile pictures. Yeah. I do, but I also hate it. <laughs> like I, you know, a lot of these people, like Chris. You know, I started associating like Chris to his like 
thumbnail, you know? Yeah, yeah, me when too. They change it, 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 it throws me off. Throws really. you off. Yep. Yeah. I was just about to say the same thing when I saw his thumbnail, too. <laughs> yeah. Yomo here, always with the cop or drop emojis. What is up, Yomo? Glad you're here. Uh, funny that we got two extremes with the uh, last two figures. Um, at first, not enough. Now, too many with the three skews. We'll definitely oh, be touching on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, we will. I, I, I got some pictures for us. Uh, pictures, that's what Funky Cold Santa saying. What is up, Funky? How are you? Um, we, we all met Funky out, out here in Texas. Uh, Eclectic Collectors here, always here every every week. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot, guys. Uh, let's see. Let me. I'm just gonna keep going down the list, you guys. If I skip you, I am so sorry. Uh, Aaron saying, "What is up, fam? What is up, Aaron? I saw Aaron on uh, your show, right, Zio? He was on the last. Yeah, one. he was on Monday. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was that was cool. And his camera is extra crispy now, so yeah, I can see him a little bit better. Picture. Yeah, yeah, new profile picture too. He new is. profile picture too. I was like, who's this dude right here? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, MB Dyson saying, "Mysterious head broke all good." Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dinos, Dino Scar, what is up? Do you know if there will be a second chance of us to buy Artisan Anakin or Anakin Artisan Jack? You should get on the wait list as soon as you can. That's all I can say. They Anakin was a two thousand piece, right? And people are getting converted, so I can't imagine a four thousand piece. How many more will get converted, especially with that price? You, you want to touch on that now? Because I, I, I want to mention yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. It's like you mentioned too. <clears throat> For one, yeah, it, the Artisan's a very steep price, right? And there's a mm -hmm. lot of figures that's been thrown at people this year. And I'm sure a small percentage of people felt rushed when they got into the queue. Oh, they yeah. had their chance to buy a figure, right? And I'm one of those people. I kept trying to decide between the Deluxe and the Artisan. Yeah. I, I ended up going to the Artisan, right? Yeah. But I'm sure there are going to be some people who are like, ah, you know what, I don't know if the 100 plus additional price point for the artisan is is worth it compared to what you can get for the deluxe so there may be some cancellation so absolutely jump mm -hmm. on the wait list but also start talking to some some overseas sellers too a lot of them don't jack up the price but some do so just be yeah. no, be cautious no. but it's a good point to like befriend the community you know make those friends mm -hmm. make those relationships and because that's how yeah. we, that's how steve was able to get the umbra trooper because someone helped him out as well a shout out shout mike. out mike collecting nerd yeah. zone bro, bro yes man, man. telling y'all mike yes, is dude. clutch bro yeah that was oh. super dope of him to do that. i want to just give him a shout out real quick yeah, hell yeah. yeah he's just the goat he for jumped that, on it too yeah, he, he was number four. Like, he was number four in line. I remember I messaged y'all like it's the queue is or like it's live, and then he he sends us a picture. Add to cart. I'm like, wait, what? So yeah, that was super dope of him to do that. Then he so said, shout out to you, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Rins. Thank you, Rins. We got uh, Geo in here saying, I need to meet the celebrity before I get an autograph. The cost is too high for. Uh, if the cost is too high for the autograph, I'd rather get a picture like I did for Mark Hamill last year. I think that's the biggest turnoff for me is always the prices. Thank you, autograph. I just yeah, oh, so yeah. expensive. find it worth it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look who's here. Late Bloomer, what is up? Yeah, Congrats, please. my guy. Couldn't imagine bless uh, blessings happening to a better person. Oh, you're so nice, Late Bloomer. Really appreciate you. We need to get you back on here eventually, man. It's it, I try to keep it to five. It's so hard to to, to get you guys on here, but uh, but one day we will. My guy Ricardo too. What is up, Ricardo? Everybody coming out tonight. Thank y'all so much. I know, oh, I know. Ricardo. Ricardo loves Jack Sparrow, so he's gonna love the talks that we're about to have. Yeah. Um, their dad life here as well. What is up? Don't sleep on Lando. Uh, you can turn him into Harvey Dent too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One six G J. What's up, y'all? I luckily caught the artisan and on uh, Austin's IG story. Look, you're helping out everybody, Austin. Let's uh, go didn't even get an email from sideshow i think i saw um i think i saw your um instagram pop up that you followed me i need to uh, follow you 16 gj i will follow you after the stream um but think yeah uh, austin saving lives with these freaking with these stories too. hot toys needs yeah. to send you a check bro yeah how many perks did get from you today <laughs> right. i think i think that's the uh, the great thing about having the community you know yeah it, it's Honestly, it'd be impossible for me to keep up with everything unless it was like Joey keeping me updated, Steve throwing in. Keep Steve, on. Oh, yeah, Joey. Like, oh, it's, it's like five of us. 
It's like five of us in a group chat and uh, and Mike collecting Nerd Zone and like anytime something happens, somebody's on it. Some somebody. Yeah, it's there. nice, dude. It's really nice to yeah. have that. Yeah. I know when I wake up and I see the message that says that everyone. I'm yeah, like, oh, everyone, shit. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like, let me, I don't even have to open Facebook anymore. I used to open Facebook first. Like as soon as I see that, I was like, oh shoot, something dropped, <laughs> and like straight. Like man, you can subscribe to that, hit the notification bell to that man yeah. all day, every day, right there. So Once again, that, that's another that's another big proponent of like why this community is so great and sometimes yeah. necessity. Yeah. yeah, right. You just you just need to find your way through um, through who you're gonna want to hang out with. Because I know before like having this, we we were all just scattered around, you know, and then it just filters through everybody and then you get you get to the people that you really you know share a lot with and it's it's awesome i, I love that and yeah, when, I, when i see overnight. that when i see that at everyone Every- i'm like oh shit i'm looking i'm checking i'm checking immediately bro yeah, you say yeah. like, <laughs> usually i'm busy i'll miss like big chunks of chats during the day especially at work yeah, yeah, yeah me when, too. when any of you puts in like everybody that's like one of those oh i should probably look at this <laughs> yeah. yeah shit's something's happening <laughs> We got, uh, what is up, Collecting Madness? What is up, Chris? How are you? Thank you for being here. Chris. As always, Chris, awesome guy, you guys. Um, and we also have Tato in here. What is up, Tato? Channel member, awesome guy. He he got his first hot toy not too long ago. Uh, so welcome him. I don't know if we should hot clap toy. for that or not. But no, welcome. no, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, T- Tato is an awesome guy. He's He has his artist and Anakin coming as well. So that's nice. going to be I still awesome. need to secure that. Yeah. Hey, gentlemen. What is up, Figure Craft? The special, Phil. special channel member right here. What is up? Philly. Uh, Philly's an awesome guy as well. You guys need to check Philly out, man. Um, I'm gonna go through. We got uh, Mr. Mike Latouris in here, aka Theron's office. Hello. I'm still gonna call you that. I'm still gonna call you that, Mike. And I know your name's not Mike still, but I'm still gonna call you Mike. <laughs> uh, we have Sims Collectibles in here. What is up, Sims? How are you? We got Jazzy in here too. Guess who cop Artisan Jack Sparrow? Not me. Oh my oh, God! Damn, you're bro. one of you, you, you're <laughs> probably one of the unlucky ones. I'm sorry, Jazzy. I'm sorry so much. What is up, Prince uh, Han Hanma? I remember seeing you a couple times in here. Thank you so much for being here, as always. Look at my guy. Look who's Prince. in here, oh, bro. Sh- if you guys haven't checked out Boston Collectors, nice. bro. Those are one of the best reviews on YouTube. Like cinematically, it's outstanding. It's crazy. So if you guys haven't checked out Boston Collectors, you really should. Uh, uh, what up, uh, though, everyone? Um, I heard about you closing uh, on a new house, man. Congrats. Thank you, you and Myra and the Fur Babies. Yes, uh, that's a huge moment. Keep uh, keep on keeping on. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if it's John- uh, Jonathan. Uh, but thank you, Boston Collectors. I know you and also, your wife. Your wife do that. Yeah. They have a Discord as well. Yes, they do and have they, a Discord. Oh, and they no. keep everybody updated mm-hmm. with any kind of releases or announcements on yep. there. Nice. Yep. Yeah. I, 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 you know, and I, I suck at getting on Discord, as you guys probably can tell. I don't have like, because I have a whole one for like PlayStation and stuff. So a lot of them always get on and stuff, and I have to put it on mute. But uh, but when I have been on the 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 Discord, it's been very, very helpful. It really has. Um, Brandon's in here. What is up, Brandon Salad? Thank you so much. I'm trying to get through everybody. I think that's the last person. Uh, Brandon, awesome guy. Beautiful photography as well. If you guys haven't checked him out on Instagram, I would too. And um, we have Steve Bateman. So Steve Bateman's here. Hello, channel member. Awesome, awesome. But it's time to get into some juicy stuff, guys. Oh, wait. Let me... Uh, let me just shout out this real quick. All the channel members, it is updated now. I don't know why V is uh, is highlighted, but there we go from the Ben Thomas show. Um, but this is all the Joey's. You guys make this stream go. You guys make sure this is 80, or I mean 1080p. So thank you guys so much. And we're, we're able to show off my uh, Danny's little kangaroo for us right there. Because um, without that, you know, um, couldn't do that. But anyways, let's see what I have next. Uh, I had another announcement really quickly. So if you haven't done your part yet, <laughs> you haven't done your part yet. This Nick, I hope you're still watching. Uh, man, if if you guys, I know 
you guys don't want to be that person to post this a, a, a lot and be like, oh man, why do we post this on every freaking picture? But I think I'm part of this movement now where I'm going to post this, you know, here and there. I'm not going to, you know, post it every time, but I will post this here and there just so I know that Hot Toys sees this. I know a lot of us the, on the Jack Sparrow one, I saw this at least four or five times. Uh, this yeah. picture so i mean you could tell the difference uh with this picture them next to each other this really is something important i feel like and um you could just tell the difference so shout out to nick collectibles riley all y'all we need this to happen man we need this to happen so this is just a quick little shout out now we can get to <sighs> my guy right here man guys this was a big night man so i'm just gonna show the artisan pictures just as you know the reference for this but um so this is the artisan jack sparrow we got yesterday and it is as you know it does have that wool hair so, and yeah yo you're fine do you want to tell everybody if we copped or not and what we got first yeah oh wait hold on i forgot to to end this other uh to end the uh pick or autograph and then i'll add that poll oh, so we yeah. can do that let me see so pit uh, so picture with the famous person or autograph with the famous person is pick is at uh 71 and autograph is at 28 so i'm actually surprised wow. by that yeah yeah um yeah that, that's oof. Uh, let's see. Let me, now, let me do the Jack Sparrow copper drop. You're right. Let me ask you guys copper drop first. Um, copy. Um, so, Austin, we'll start with you. Was this a cop or a drop for you? And if you copped, what edition did you get? I'm, you said it earlier, but you said it again. It was a cop, and I okay. got the artisan. Okay. Um, how do you feel about that? You, you feeling good or what? Yeah, you know why it's... I, I, I do feel good. You know, um, they're in checkout. Yeah, man. I, I for sure pondered for a bit if I wanted mm. that Deluxe really Artisan. I really pondered it. And I'll tell you, William Cote, he, uh, he for sure pressured into the Artisan. And I'm happy, did. right? <laughs> you know, I, just like anything else, if, if I'm going to do it, I might as well spend a few extra bucks. But the fun conversation is you could have a pretty good exchange about is the deluxe worth it more for like that price of value or yeah. should you the artisan so i'd be curious to know what you guys think about that too but yeah got the artisan okay good i oh, sorry i was reading some of the thing i saw a uh, blurred dad life became a joey oh we know what that means blurred Ooh. dad life is awesome man I, I thank you so much for for doing that and you guys know of course When Australia's national symbol becomes a noose. Oh man, I love that at the end. <laughs> um, and and uh, a lot of people don't know that Joe that our kangaroo baby kangaroos are called joeys. So that you guys, that's what that is. That's why we call them joeys. Trust me, I'm not just like, oh, you guys are joeys. It's 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 a baby kangaroo. But Daniel, I want to ask you, is this cop or drop for you? It is a drop. It is a beautiful Jeez. gorgeous piece. Yeah. But as growing up, I was never too big on uh, Jack Sparrow. I was never too big on these movies. Captain. Like, Captain. Uh, Captain, Captain Jack, Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like the second one, you know, with the Kraken and the uh, Squid yeah. Face guy. Davy Jones, I think this is his name. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, eh, eh, I'll mm -hmm. pass for now just because I. I it's one of those figures, like, once I go see you again in your new house, Joey, or go visit Austin again, I'm excited yeah. to see it in other people's collections, just like that new Wolverine, but I would never want it in my collection, personally. So, it's beautiful, but it's a drop. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean that's a fair point, especially artisan. You're talking by, uh, close to 600 bucks, you know? Exactly. 560 yeah. from from Sideshow. That's... <laughs> You can't be really on the fence with this, like, with this character or the franchise, you know? Mm -hmm. I just got to point out, too, behind the scenes, Austin joked that I was an Amber Heard supporter because I didn't want to copy <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> You know, on my video that I did for this one, I, I was about to say some stupid shit in the beginning of it. I was, like, saying, like, uh... I said, uh, no one's going to shit on this hot toy parade. But, uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. I, I think I said poop. But, um, damn, that sucks that he's affiliated with that now, though. Um, 
Damn. Uh, there's going to be a reboot, too, and he's not going to be playing Jack Sparrow. I know. That sucks. He should. Maybe they're saying that, and then he'll, he'll have, like, a cameo or something. Hopefully. Um, but I he killed this role, man. I, I rewatched the first one not too long ago, and I was watching how he acted, and I was always wondering, like, how, you know, how they asked him to act or how they told him and how he came up with this type of acting. You know, it's, it's weird. It, I don't know. It's the weirdest type of way that you could play a character and it and it works out perfectly looks like he was just having fun on this movie like, exactly go back and watch that first one like the first two especially like either he was smoking a ton of weed on set exactly. or exactly really feeling this role <laughs> every scene he is just so like leaning and set see it's so like in the character and just he's, he's a lot of fun to watch so he is he is uh what about you steve i think i know already Oh, yeah, cop, uh, artisan, artisan yes, edition, man. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. Yep. I was like one sixty eight in line, so I only okay. waited like I don't know. It was like six or seven minutes. It was it was pretty quick, really smooth process for me. So yeah. Yep. Cop that artisan, man. Had to uh, had to go that route. I mean, yep. oh, man. I, I oh. wish the Anakin was as easy as this time around for me. Yeah, right. That's what I was about to say. Like, it would be so awesome that Anakin was like that. It but... helped having the 4,000, you know what I mean? I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of the majority of people got this one. You know, yeah. I know there's some people who missed out, and I'm sure we'll get into that a little bit, but um, mm -hmm. I think the 4,000 definitely helped, especially after, like, the Umbra Arc Trooper, right, where it was 1,500, and it was like, yeah, before six or, like, seven or 800, whatever it was on Sideshow, like, it was gone already, mm -hmm. so... You guys feel like this is fun. this is this is a lot more fun to do, right? Like, who got it? You know, how, how many pieces are is this one? You know, I, I think that's really fun. So, Steve, you, you definitely nailed it. I mean, four thousand pieces, and I think this is a smaller audience too versus like the Anakin. You know, mm -hmm. which I, I would assume much more people would actually have wanted or tried for it yeah. versus this. Yeah. yeah, and I think too another thing about like. Obviously, Anakin was just rooted in this one. Like, I, I remember, like, when I was on Wolfpack last night, we were talking about, like, when this dropped, we actually signed off, and then this dropped, like, five minutes later, and we got back on to talk really? about it. Really? Yeah, we got back on for, like, part two of the no show. No wonder it was but... all glitched out. It was, like, glitched yeah. out. It showed, like, it showed, like, 44 minutes long, then it went to 20, and I was like, wait, what happened? Yeah, we, oh, like, got, we signed off, and then we were chatting backstage, and then the, the photos dropped, and, like, the reveal oh, of all three of them dropped. So we signed back on, but we were talking about um or in the chat it seemed like a lot of people in the chat were just saying like i'm just gonna go with the deluxe mm -hmm. like that's a huge yeah. i feel like a huge huge thing with this one is a lot of people are just saying i'm just gonna go with the deluxe version so yeah. that definitely having three skews definitely plays a role in this being you know different as well i think a lot of people are going for that you know what hot toys wants you to think is a deal at 330 for the deluxe version that that isn't the artisan one because mm -hmm. uh you know they're basically like they're making you feel it's a good business move to like price this high and like this is like kind of this this price is pretty high and there's like it's gonna be interesting to see like what and scalpers do for this minutes. because well like and like scalpers for this is like there's not a ton of money to be made for scalpers unless you price mm -hmm. this at like eight like 750 800 bucks all like all you know what i mean well, sounds I, like, yeah. it sounds like you know it what is. you're talking about but thing is, scalpers set the price at 500 bucks, right? As soon as one person buys it, that's what the set yep. Yep. secondary market price yep. is. Yeah. And I think like yeah. this is so interesting because like, say somebody put, say people are selling this on eBay for 750, 800 bucks. Yeah. When you have a readily available deluxe edition that's the same thing but just sculpted braids and a and a, a sculpted like um, bandana, um, there's just no way that like it's it's almost like it's gonna stop some of the scalping and then like also create like a lot of value for their mm -hmm. uh like 330 dollar one yeah. so it's crazy because that's still pretty expensive like 330 is still pretty pricey but yeah in this case hot toys is making you feel like well like a lot of people are like i'm just gonna buy the deluxe version because i'm saving money right like they're making it's a smart business move it's just it's interesting i, I usually like to think about kind of like you know the business aspect of it and the marketing aspect of it but um i saw a comment too in the chat somebody had mentioned like it's interesting that in art is a hundred dollars more between their sculpted and their rooted but mm -hmm. hot toys is pushing this like more they're sexy. pushing the boundary yeah. with this just for some just couple of extra additions so it's just interesting yeah it really is uh we'll talk a little bit more about it uh but yeah. 
Let me see. Zio, was this a cop or a drop for you? I... Dude, this is a drop for me, man. Really? Um, okay. Yeah, personal connection to this character, none whatsoever. Really? And so I felt like if I picked this up, this would have just been for me. It would have just been a flex, like, oh yeah, I got the artist inversion. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I just have no appreciation, like in mm -hmm. like for yes. him to be in my collection. I'd rather it be in somebody else's home who does appreciate it. Well, buy um, it for me then. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Uh, I'll get you the collector edition, though. I get you know DX. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. I there's just I I didn't even bother, man. Just because like you know the the collection is filling up quickly. I have limited space for independent movie figures, and he's just not gonna yeah. make the cut. Beautiful figure, man. Congrats to everybody that got it. Uh, unfortunately some people didn't still didn't get it even though there was so many pieces and that still kind of sucks for them but i'm sure if they really want it they'll go out there and get it if those yeah. means are, are are possible so hopefully they are for those that missed out carlos how dare you not buy every single piece that comes out you know <laughs> i thought about what it but i was like are you, man? So I just I have a question. I don't know. You know, I was like, I'm I gotta be glad, passionate. <laughs> I'm just glad the Zio signs back up. That's all I'm glad. Oh, right. dude, <laughs> I know, man. Like, yeah, it's getting kind of yeah. gloomy out here. I got a question for the, you guys. So, yeah. this is our what fourth artisan figure. Um, mm -hmm. They've all been remakes of previous figures. Yeah. So, in mind, who else do you want to see remade? Who else? Well, th this is what I've noticed is that Hot Toys has now made, um, has now made an artisan figure for DC, Marvel, Star Wars, and a one-off figure, which I think is a very good way to start the artisan line. Um, you think they're gonna go right back around and then do like another? That's what I'm thinking. They might go back around. They're not gonna do another one-off until later, but I don't know what order they'll do it. Marvel, DC, Star Wars, any any of that order. Uh, and how how long has it been since the last one? Do you guys do you guys know? Um, wasn't it's been the a last while. One. since the last artisan? Yeah, how long has it that been? Would, that would have been Wanda, Wanda which right? was like a month, month and a half ago, ago? two that months, ago? Weeks, two months. For sure. That I'll, look at my, I'll, I'll look at my sideshow order. Right. Oh, Wanda! No, it's been like two, three months already. Yeah, yeah. I thought it's been a while. That was last. That was last yeah. year. So yeah. I, I know I know a couple popular choices for like the next artisan, like. I know something like Zio may say would be like Winter Soldier. Uh, that no? would be good though. I wouldn't be mad at it though. Boston Collectors just said the same thing. Did he? Oh, did he? Did he? Okay, so oh, okay. and then like another one I know would be like Terminator would be yeah. would be a oh, really yeah. popular one. Yeah, it would Terminator would be dope. They already did Joker. Yeah, Wanda. Wanda was uh, October fifth. 2023 oh six months ago i guess no, five months ago no, five, no almost almost yeah almost six months ago next week wow crazy yeah and, dude i'm not gonna lie it doesn't feel that long i know it was, <laughs> it was a couple months ago it's it's because it's hot toys time right it works different from our regular time you know it's yeah it's like in between releases and announcements there's only been so 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 much or i guess it shortens that that time window but mm -hmm crazy man i can't believe it's been See, if they, if yeah, they wait another wild. like four or five months maybe even six months right we're getting to like the summertime and at that point deadpool and wolverine had already come out mm -hmm. so with all them cameos that could or not be in that movie i could see them doing maybe an artisan wolverine for the marvel Ooh. or maybe do something from that movie that's like a cameo that would be cool at least uh, loki would, would be a good cool artisan one loki would be a good artisan Loki, yeah. would, Loki would be a great artist. I haven't made that yet, and I would cop a, a season two Loki. So. Do you wait? Okay, and I'm just gonna play devil's advocate because I'm actually curious. Do you think there's too many Lo Loki's available currently? Right now, yeah. Um, or do you think it, an artist would still sell? If you would have asked, well, I, mm, if you would have asked oh, me like, before I'd seen the show, I would have said yes. But like after seeing the show, no, because like given that there's so many, like I we're in the multiverse sure. era. You know, there's some collectors out there that just want to collect Loki, and that's cool, right? They're doing like, like a thing where it's just Loki. I feel like there's the same amount of Wandas as Lokis right now. Hey, there's quite a bit of Wandas. Of they Wanda's. got the Civil War, the Age of Ultron, the they're the three that just released in Four the past. Five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, yeah. that's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. It would be nice to get like a like a Qui I think about like a Jedi, like Qui Gon would be a really cool artisan. Oh yeah. Um, or episode two Obi Wan, 
I was about to say, yeah. I know you're about to say Obi-Wan. Episode Obi-Wan. 2 Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan would be Obi-Wan. really cool. Mm-hmm. would be super dope. Imagine obviously. they come out with the Kenobi not series. Biased. Kenobi. Not biased at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, so what wait, I have... Can I make it easier? Would you guys want something from Mar- Instead of just naming like specific character or piece, let's do like IP. Would you want something from Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Ooh. or like an independent movie piece? DC. <sighs> I say independent movie piece because that's something that we don't get all the time. See, I, I immediately gravitate towards like that movie piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. I could see a John Wick man, a rooted uh, artist in John Wick would be dope too. You know, that would be sick. Be cool. Yeah, but I'm yeah. Ready. I think the movie. I think the like. I mean, as much as I love Star Wars, I think having Star Wars stuff in artisan is really cool. Like that Anakin's going to be awesome. But the movie pieces ones are nice too because they're like really good standalones. Yeah. You know, like you don't have a bunch of like. Oh, I know, obviously for some movies there's lines, but like, yeah, like you think of like John Wick, or you think of like even Jack Sparrow. You could get into like some other figures that are from, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. But these are just like the movie ones are always really good standalone, and I feel like artisan figures are kind of good standalone pieces in of their own right yeah. too. So that I think that's kind of the appeal for me when it comes to that for sure. Yeah. So I did this little th- these little charts right here just so it's easier for more visual learners because I'm a, a very big lit- visual learner. Um, so I don't know why it's not letting me skip through, but <laughs> this is uh, so this is everything right here. So the collector edition was two ninety when you saw it on sideshow without going to ship. Now this is shipping to Texas. It might vary ten bucks maybe for shipping, um, but you have three at the end of the day. It's three thirty two. Uh, for the collector edition regular dx was 330 to start off with um and then it ended up being 376 uh and then the dx artisan was 495 uh and ended up being 560 at the end um and so it's crazy that you could get the regular deluxe with everything besides the uh rooted hair and the cloth on his head i believe as well it's 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 an actual cloth not sculpted for under 400 bucks but then if you go to the dx you're paying 560 around there so that's kind of what put me off a little bit to i got the regular dx that that's why i did it um but i can understand if you want that limited piece you want that uh rooted hair if you're willing to spend that much i mean that that that's cool and, and you like this character now the reason why i really wanted this character even though i didn't have great attachment to it is because i feel like this is another one of those figures like feral predator was this is like showing you what hot toys can do this is like one of those pieces that it's it's just when you see it you you know wow that's like more than just a figure that's that's the details out it's insane especially when we go to this picture that i had up earlier um i think it's just it's just out of this world. I don't know why I cannot go through this, but it's just out of there. Go like this right here. Like, bro, like wh- what? Like, how do you do that? That's, that's insane. Look at the wrap of all the dreadlocks, but you don't just have wrap. You have stuff attached to the wrap with chains going all throughout his hair with a bandana and it's ro- like freaking rooted as well. And then you go over here and you're looking at, there's like, I don't think that I have seen everything that's on this figure yet. Like all yeah. these little details yeah, on here. Sure. I, I don't think I have, like, as I was going through a bit on my video, I didn't know that there was like shrunken heads on him as well. There's like a chicken foot. There's so much stuff on this. And that's why I decided to get this figure is because of the craftsmanship, not just because like of the, the art, like the quality yeah, of the art. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm sorry. I went on a big rant there, but Joey, what one did you get? That's why. Uh, I got the yeah. deluxe, the the just regular deluxe. Gotcha. Yeah, because I mean, like I said, Wait, is, I that the like... one, is that the one? I'm sorry, I know there's like three, but did you get the one yeah. that has, that still has like the water base, the water? Yes. So yeah, okay, so the one under this one, basically. Yeah, yeah I, I got you. I got this one in the middle. So yeah, I got you. This one. So what you basically get? There's three skews, right? So I know you guys know this, but people watching, there's three different types of these figures right here so you've got your artisan one which is you get the big shebang with the artisan right here at the end of the day you're paying 560 on side this is all sideshow pricing you're paying 560 for the whole shebang 
And then if you want to sacrifice and pay a little bit, or well, a lot, kind of a lot less, uh, I think it's one, around 160, you could get this. You could still get the diorama uh, base with the ship and the wheel and everything, the nameplate, uh, but you're just right here, as you can see, missing that beautiful hair, which I just showed looks insane. Yeah. And then if you want to go down, you got the uh, regular collector edition. You're just losing that. Uh, what I think is worth every penny is that base and that brooded hair. So if you just want to get Jack Sparrow with the with the sculpted, every, basically everything besides a couple of hairs on him, uh, you can go that way. And that's two ninety, and then I believe it's three thirty something uh, shipped to you with taxes and things like that, depending on where you live. But. Uh, but that, I just wanted to get whoever's in here that doesn't know Hot Toys that well and, and doesn't know pricing, you know, after taxes and shipping, what you're actually going to be paying, not what you see on Sideshow. This is kind of what realm you're going to be in. So that's why I did it. I'm done with my rant if you guys want to say some, anything else. No, I, I loved how you summed it all up. I was curious, why did why did you buy this, Steve? Why did you get the Arcsid? Or, the, the, or this piece in general? Yeah, so... Um, I've been kind of eyeing a Jack Sparrow for a while. And like, I know the other ones are kind of older figures. I didn't really like if it, with it being that old, I knew like maybe there was potentially a chance of them doing another one. Um, I think it was going to end up being this not necessarily, but I was just kind of holding off. I've kind of been having my eye. I've had my eye on one for a while, but mm -hmm. glad I waited obviously now, but, um, yeah, no, I really like the character. I mean, I enjoyed like, I mean, not, they're not all the best movies. Like I really like curse of the black pearl. Um, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's the one that pretty much everybody like is like all, like the universal favorite almost. But mm -hmm. um, no, I mean as far as the artisan goes, I think for me, I think when you look at just how Hot Toys has been in general, um, for me, I usually always just go with like the top. I always just go with the top one. That's understandable. And, and usually for artisan too, and like D'Lo brought this up in the chat to a really good point. Um, when you have multiple SKUs like this, the, the market's going to get saturated. Mm -hmm. So right now the artisan is gone, right? Obviously it's waitlisted. The other two are readily available. So this means down the road and not that I would ever, not that I'm saying I plan on selling this or plan on getting rid of it, but thinking long game too, mm -hmm. down the road, the, mo the, the one that is going to get you the most bang for your buck you know, God forbid you have to get rid of it. Or if you just change your mind down the road and you just say, Hey, look, I'm changing my collection. This isn't a piece that I necessarily need anymore or whatever, whatever happens, you're going to get the most out of this one. So for me and, and at the same time for me, I'm, I think it's worth paying the extra honestly to get like the rooted dreads and obviously like the, the cloth isn't a huge deal, but like mm. for me, for this piece, I want like, for what it is yeah i just wanted like yeah. the top one and i know not everybody's all about the limited stuff but for me i like limited stuff i think I, it's I, cool to have limited stuff in my collection there's like i feel like i'm not saying everybody i feel like i feel like lim when it comes to limited there's a lot of varying opinions i'm on the side of i think it's really cool to have limited stuff in my collection and when like to talk to like other people who don't really collect or just talking about my collection with people it makes your collection unique you know, to have limited cool stuff. Um, so I like that. I, and I think that that kind of can vary your, your collection. I've talked about this in the past, but can make your collection a little bit more variable. Is there enough to say like, this is that big of a deal of like, oh, this one's, this is a limited one because it has mm -hmm. these couple of minor changes as opposed to the deluxe. Mm -hmm. Maybe it, not so much as opposed to some other figures, you know, like, like uh, Artisan Joker versus a sculpted one, right? um but for me yeah i just like I'll, I'll always go with just if there's something that's the most exclusive and the hardest to get of something i will always just try to go for that one that's just <laughs> that's just that's just what i that's just what i do for stuff and it's fun i support it's, austin uh, nicholas it's uh it's it's fun for me to uh like i like chasing the harder limited stuff to get you yeah. know what i mean i think that's, that's fun. fun and like i said this we had this conversation about i don't want to go on too much about I go with sidetrack, but we had this conversation about like the Umbra Trooper too. Of like, is that something I would have got if it wasn't limited? I would have probably waited if it was sitting. Like, mm -hmm. I would have probably waited because it wouldn't have sold out. It just wouldn't have. But for me, like, that's a cool piece. Now that it's a limited thing, 
1500 like that's a really cool thing to have in my collection even though yeah. it might not be the best character or like a named character i feel like having something like that when it comes to limited is something is something cool and unique for your collection that not everybody's gonna have um yeah. so when it comes to this i know the skews kind of like i said they kind of like dilute that a little bit um and this is a high i would say like this is I don't know, I guess what you can define high limited number. Um, yeah. But with this being 4,000, this is almost like they made this, like they wanted everybody to have the chance to get whatever version, like th everybody's gonna have the ability to get some type of Jack Sparrow regardless, right? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, like I said, when it comes to that, I just go for whatever, like exclusive is cool, that's a bonus. And then if anything ever changed later on, like that's gonna be the one that you're gonna get the most bang for your buck for if you, uh, like exactly what, what Delo saying? If you ever, if you had an emergency, hey, I have to sell something. Yeah. Um. Not that I really. That's not the number one reason for me, but I feel like that's like anything exclusive is always, to me, worth getting over another edition. And in this case, it wasn't too much of a leap. And I think it's really cool just to get like the full on rooted dreads. I think that that's like really cool. I think another. Is, uh, I think is. I think another thing it might change a little bit once people get this in hand, then they see some of the. You know, like when we get like in hand pictures and just like the comparisons and like see more of this figure and stuff in the details. But yeah, anyways, long winded answer. But uh, yeah, Austin, that's what I would say as to why um, I went for this this version. Okay. And uh, I just got some news from um, my guy Austin. I don't know. I haven't caught up to the chat yet uh, that Hot Toys is teasing a little something. So. Um, We'll look at it here in a second. Uh, but I Austin, still wanna... did you say something? You were on mute. Yeah, I was going to say, so like, I got this because my first hot toy was Jack Sparrow. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> that's, that's my first hot toy. Uh, my mom absolutely loves this franchise. Uh, so me, her, and my brother, we watched it a lot growing up. And yeah, the first one, Curse of the Black Pearl, obviously my favorite. Uh, so yeah, and, I, and I've wanted to upgrade and just kind of like you said, Steve, I think the older DXs, they hold up, but you know, they, they are older and they were a little pricey too for, for their age. So I, I was waiting. I was hopeful. I actually didn't think this would come, but I was just going to buy my time. This is one of those characters or pieces that I was happy to play a very long game if needed. Same. So it came out, but like the real decision at, at, at crunch time was the uh that, that middle tier that regular deluxe or the artisan but uh pretty much every reason you gave is the reason why i went for artisan yeah i just want to say real quick steve you're about to be one happy happy man i know uh yeah <laughs> we're, we're, we're about to talk about that here in a minute <laughs> uh, yeah, i haven't seen, seen this it. i'm seeing this little teaser yeah i haven't seen it fully yet I'm seeing this little teaser. i saw the end of it and i was like oh okay um, uh, how long does the waitlist normally take and is it worth losing my chance for deluxe to try to get artisan jack um so so y'all got anything to say about that one yeah so yeah. waitlist can convert a, until sideshow is completely sold out of that mm -hmm. figure so yeah like it, it's for sure be on the waitlist if this is something something you're interested in mm -hmm. the that other deluxe honestly yep time to kind of wait around for that but also i mean you have time until it gets low in stock and then there'll be warnings and you'll see it flooded all over the community but i mean you you could still purchase that the lux and then cancel that and get the artisan yeah it's if it's really worth the if it's worth the 25 bucks for yeah. for your uh for well, your nrd well e even sometimes man like depending on who you're talking with on the customer service they won't they'll refund you that so I mean that's that's not a one hundred percent of the time, but yeah, you could miss out on that. Yeah, the refundable deposit. I'm seeing. Uh... But also, don't forget overseas sellers make friends within the community. I'm yeah. sure there's going to be people who will sell their current stock uh, artisan. Someone's always going to be selling something. Um, something crazy. You got anything else to say, anybody, about my guy right here before we get on to the next thing? Anybody else? Zio. Oh. What a what a crazy turn of events. Like, oh, I know, right? <laughs> everyone's like, we get the T we get the T's, 
then we get the announcement <laughs> late late last night we get the announcement and then all of a sudden this gets shadow dropped oh, oh, within oh. an hour you guys yeah, want to talk more, about man. that you want to talk about that uh yeah luckily yeah. Lu luckily me at work I, I i'm really flexible so uh i i definitely didn't miss this mm -hmm. but i know depending on what region you're in and what profession you're in uh th this could be a really hard hard thing to actually get and, and wait for so that that's kind of one of the really bad things about this lottery system yeah and and someone said it i forgot who said it in here uh damn it i was gonna go back and see uh, but they said that this will be on sale after the ride whenever you're at Disney. <laughs> Bro. <I> saw that. <laughs> Bro, if I saw this and I went to Disney and I loved that ride because I believe Calvin said that that was like one of the best rides over there at Disney. Um, if I got off and I kind of like collecting and, you know, I'm on vacation and I got all this extra money uh, and I saw that and I looked it up and I saw what it was. Bro, I might do it. You know, I didn't, and I didn't know I might do it. <laughs> yeah, that good might marketing, be... man. It's good marketing putting it right outside the ride. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> like nine hundred. Have, have they sold hot toys in the parks before? I think I thought they have. They yeah, do. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, they, do. Do. yeah. Uh -huh. they do. Yeah. Star Wars Can and Marvel. I... Yeah, it, it think... was Blair Dad Life. That said it. Yeah. yeah. I think I just you say can one more thing. Buy Sorry, the hot toys. I think you could buy the hot toys on the Disney store. Um, oh yeah. I think yeah, correct. I think directly from the Disney store. Sometimes they even have sales. I think I saw that somebody talking about that in a stream a few, a few months ago now. So yeah, I've seen him. On, I saw him on the uh, like the Shop Disney uh, yeah. website. But um, one other thing, just one last thing I want to touch oh, on real quick yeah. about this. To see, I want to see like maybe your guys' take on this too. But I wonder if some of this like kind of shadow. I call it shadow drops, but like these quick drops of these like because because it was basically. The drop for the Umbra and this were both same day, right? It was like a couple mm -hmm. hour window for the trooper. And then it was mm -hmm. like, this was like an hour when people were getting emails. Do you think like, I guess my thought on it is like, this probably has something. I wonder if what, if they're doing this on sideshow so that their servers don't just get like overloaded and flooded because people before, like with Anakin, like remember when people were getting like booted to the back of the line and it was like yeah. glitching out on them and it was freezing um i wonder if uh i wonder if that has something to do with it where they're just like they're doing it they're alerting people who rsvp'd by either email or what have you and then they're not having as many people flood onto their website at once because you have seven days like everybody was just flooding on for anakin right yeah. so i wonder if that has something to do with it of, of them trying to explore different ways for the lottery to see what the smoothest way is for it to go so that they didn't have like the complaints and issues that they had before I, um but yeah I'm, I'm sure for marketing they're having to test metrics for different kinds of drops right to see yeah. performance of the sale um interaction with the website and then feedback online i'm sure that's what it is i mean we've only had four of these so i'm sure this is just collecting some market data yeah yeah so that'd just be my guess definitely yeah. no expert yeah, only, I thought that was interesting. Uh, the Jack Sparrow at Disney at Disney for uh, treat that for only three thousand seven hundred eighty nine. <laughs> uh, okay, but but you guys, I so Austin sent me the uh, the the teaser for that dark side thing, and I could only see like this much because it's on Instagram. But I just went to Facebook, and holy crap, there's like a, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll get into that. We're done with the. Uh, Talking about uh, Jack Sparrow because uh, this um, I just ended the poll. We had forty nine votes, so very good turnout with votes. Um, DX Artisan got thirty nine percent. People were copying. Regular DX was twenty four percent. Were copying. Only two percent were doing the collector edition, and then none, like no nothing at all, was at thirty five percent. So it just shows that this is like really you know around like people either get it or they don't you know so uh i'm ending that right now so here we go let me pull up this <laughs> tease that we just got i love i love hot toys collectors bro everybody uh -huh. so hyped about go ahead you pull up the tease Joy. Yeah, i yeah, just yeah. want to talk about this no let's talk about it the chat is letting it be known right now who is the true goat and that is star wars forever baby let's go 
<laughs> they also said Everybody... they, they also said Anakin was the goat though. Whoa, whoa okay, hold on. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Well, he's like sometimes they can be out of line. Slow your roll, slow your roll, slow your roll. Um, they're not always right, is what Jim Steve just said. <laughs> wait, wait, is it okay? I'm curious. I, 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 I want you to pull up that clip because I want to see it. Yes, sir. But is Star Wars fan base is that the goat of collecting? Let, let's take into account the the amount of purchases and then the passion behind it. You kind of have to put Star Wars on top, right? I, I just I can't think of another fandom. Obviously, Marvel would probably be like the other one, right? Yeah, dude. These, but Star Wars, man, I, I I don't know if people go as hard, like harder than Star Wars fans do. Okay, so yeah. yeah. Oh crap! So we are all about to name all these figures, guys. So uh, you guys might want to help me with that. Uh, Steve's gonna name all these figures. Steve, I don't Steve, know we're gonna start. <laughs> Steve, we're gonna start from the left. The only go. ones that I don't know the full names no, are the, the Inquisitors, because there's like all okay. these different brother names. Okay, and stuff yeah. So like we that. know we know the Inquisitors. Okay, that's all of them right here. So this is kind of hopes that we still are getting these. Hopefully, they're doubling down on on the other um, brother, second, third, fifteenth. Yeah, fifth I don't brother. Know. Yeah, fifth brother. It is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doubling down on those right here. So we know that. Um, you think we're gonna get those? You guys think so, we're gonna get? I mean, those? they're. I mean, they're. Po so is this one? What is this? Is this? Is this only this right here, or is this one of them too? Yeah, that's an inquisitor. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's all of them right here. Steve, yep. I, I was pretty okay. much thinking what you were thinking. Are, are they including some drops from past into this? I you think know, so. Like the inquisitors so. and yeah, Merrick. Yeah, because they've teased the inquisitors from Kenobi. Red. Yeah, remember, like, they tease the Inquisitors. They've already had these figures, like, on display. They're kind of, mm -hmm. like, in the graveyard yeah. right now, you know, like, coming soon or whatever. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, but go go ahead. Go ahead. Let's keep going. Uh, well, there's 67 of y'all in here, man. Thank y'all so much for turning <laughs> out. I really appreciate it. Awesome drop we got. We're about to talk about some cool stuff. Make sure as you're coming Ooh. in to hit that like button. Also, I have yeah. everybody's channels down there in the description if you guys want to subscribe to everybody else on this panel lovely guys i promise you guys will not be disappointed in that just quick plug for my guys um but anyways we do have this that just got teased amazing i love this tease uh, and i saw i think it was rin said uh, said who's that sith yes sir uh so that's what we're about to play <laughs> on my guys sneaker sorry you guys i nah, know this is easy bro y'all are in the chat right now real easy if I'm not pulling up your yeah. chat, guys, I'm so sorry. It's going by so fast, and I I, I want to get us to, to to talking about a couple of these things. But I do love that you guys are interacting with each other in there. That's amazing. I love to see it. So we have okay. So we do have the uh, Inquisitors. We already yeah, the know Kenobi probably, Inquisitors, of course. Yeah, and and hopefully with them showing this again, we'll get that. Um, and then this is the oh, one baby. right yeah, here. Let's go. That's that's probably the one I'd be more Let's hyped go about. if this actually happens. Right Bro. <laughs> yeah. Darth Revan, man. I don't even know, like, like this guy's arc, but I know he is going to look like one of the sickest characters that Hot Toys will make. Dude, his arc is yeah, awesome. Man. You should just go read up on it if you don't know yeah, about it. it. it oh, Instant, man, cop. Instant cop. Instant cop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's Darth Revan. Darth Revan. Yeah. Darth Revan. He's from yeah. the KOTOR games, for anybody who doesn't know, but Knights of the Old Republic games, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a really good. He's a really uh, dope character. Is that Steve? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, he's testing your ass. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, Darth Revan would be a day one for me, honestly. Yeah. And, and 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 it already looks bad, even though this video is like 280p. It looks awesome. <laughs> um, and then I guess is this is this Kenobi Vader still right here? It looks like it. I mean, I think it's just a like th this is this is my thought about this, and Austin nailed it. I think too of like. Yeah, I don't see us getting another Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren, which is what they're showing here. I don't think they're gonna yeah. do it, give us a Dark Side Maul. We're getting Phantom Menace twenty fifth anniversary coming up. Vader, mm -hmm. I don't know why they would do another one at this point. Yeah. Um, it looks just Duke, like the picture. I, I'm I'm gonna probably bother some people saying this, but I don't think this guarantees another Dooku either. I no, think, okay, like, let's be hopeful. Yeah. Let's be hopeful. I, 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 need, I want that. Let's be hopeful because I, I know I see a lot of people saying like, oh, like this is like, we're going to get all of these. I don't know about that because we already have a lot of these. Like front and center are three figures yeah. we already have. Yeah. We already have. Um, or currently on pre-order. 
It would be, uh, oh yeah, Chris says, yeah, Collecting Madness, Revenge of the Sith Vader. Oh, yeah. okay. So, but yeah, Dooku, like, I mean, Dooku's also kind of do, so I guess that would be... Um, you have the real Purge Trooper yeah. in here. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my guy as well, Batman Collectibles. What is up? Thank you so much. Have you heard uh, Jazz talk? Uh, he said Star Wars sells the worst. That's why he doesn't make as much Star Wars. Us big, uh, our US or us is it US or us? US, US big, big, yeah, US big Star Wars. US big Star Wars fan. Yeah. Uh, rest of the world not so much yeah i've heard that before actually to uh batman that that you know they don't sell much over there it's more like iron man over there uh and things like that a lot of marvel that i believe but uh but i really appreciate you um with that super chat batman thank you uh awesome glad to see you here too um let's see what i got what i got for you i need to come up with something different but here we go it's not about money it's about sending a message you know yeah, what can be have, different? Yeah. You know what can be different we do though? Another one. Yeah. Okay, what can be different is Steve and Danny can do their impersonations. Oh yes. <laughs> Cuz I was I was telling <laughs> them <laughs> Steve, I was telling them that you guys um on the uh wolf pack would do like uh Steve getting tased as the first one and, and <laughs> then God, that ain't happening. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then uh Yeah, you have hey, everybody Steve, doing I'll, I'll, do it. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh man. and then the last one was d one i was like i was like i still need to see that clip austin I'm i still need to see that clip. oh you got you've been tased before yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah okay all right he's, he's like who has yeah it? i need like, to see the video <laughs> and in new york we should do some something like that too that would be funny yeah. um i don't know about getting tased though but <laughs> hey why not i mean i mean you're probably more safe just being getting tased and being out in new york but um but yeah, so and is this the? Um, yeah, that's the that's the that's a Clone, Clone Wars. Wars that's a Clone Wars. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of this stuff. Half of yeah. this stuff we've seen. So already. and then and then on the right, that's Moff Gideon. The, that's yeah, Moff Gideon in the Gideon. background. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. And then down that. here next to Dooku, that's 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 uh Merrick. That's Merrick from Ahsoka. Merrick. Wow. Yeah, and okay. then and then to the left of him though, yeah, that's Star Killer baby. Star Killer. Yeah, I don't know Star Yo. Star Killer art. Oh, know. you never played Force Unleashed games, bro? It's a great game. I've just oh, call it, I was just oh, Call of Duty. Yeah, I thought I thought Gideon was on the Purge Trooper. That makes so much more sense. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Gideon. Yep. He that looks, that, I mean, that look, that looks a lot like a Purge Trooper, though. I can see exactly why you said that. That makes mm. sense. You know who we're missing? I think. Who? Savage and Ventress, man. I know, oh, dude. Oh wow. Yeah, I, I. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you imagine like, Savage's big ass, like back in the background, like just standing over everybody else? Now that yeah, now, I think the main things that we're getting from here is that Star Killer and um, Revan. Revan. Yeah. Now that I, see I could that. see, yeah, I think Star Killer Revan. I think a, a safe bet is are uh, the other Inquisitors from Kenobi as well. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. that's a. Hey, my we already know for a two point oh Dooku man. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. I think it's a like. I mean, he, I wouldn't be surprised because he's kind of like also the outlier of this of like. Other ones have already kind of had recent releases. He's been a while. Some are up yeah. and coming ones. And then Maul, like I just Maul is probably gonna be I think I think I still think we're gonna get a two point Maul for uh yeah. um Phantom, yeah, Phantom Menace. Menace. Yes. Uh oh, gee. You sheltered child. <laughs> okay, I'm not that sheltered. If you haven't seen SpongeBob in you when you grew up, that's now that's sheltered. I don't think I'm, I'm <laughs> um, let's see um, I'm, I, like I said guys I'm so sorry if I didn't go through some of y'all's chats I see that there was a lot of y'all I hope you're right Joey uh, about being available outside of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride because my friend is a former employee and uh, he goes all the time and gets 30% off stuff in the parks that's pretty cool a lot a lot of people that live down there always always go down there but that's, that, that's really cool uh, but any more thoughts on this, uh, you guys? Any more thoughts? Well, my my, my question would be: yeah. They're supposed to show this as an exhibition in April, I believe, is what I was reading. Do you think that we're going to see these new figures there in April? I I just think we've seen all these figures besides two or three. Exactly. So, do you think those two new ones will be there on display? Could be. We could That'd see be... them sooner than you think, though. Yeah, it we looks might... like 
We might get a drop to like a teaser tonight or something Somewhere. after oh, this. Yeah, maybe next week. I think next week. Yeah. Didn't Usually, it say April? Didn't it say? I think. I think on the post April? I said. Let me see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. April. Says, uh, Hold on, let yeah, me... next week. Let yeah. Me so that's when they're gonna go on exhibition. April. Yeah. So it might be one um, of those cases where like they announce it the night before and then they showcase it there for the first time. You know how normally they have the figure at Secret Base the next day. And people yeah. go like photograph it and stuff. So I think a, I think another like see then when I'm reading this post, it's kind of like I don't know. It's like how many of these characters can you recognize? Yeah, like this could be just part of their like marketing for it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to be the skeptical one because there's a like I, I mean, getting all of this would be awesome, but it's just uh yeah I don't know. It's exciting, man. How do I open the post? Fix black suit, Toby though. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was about to like be like <laughs> fucking fix fix black suit Toby. Um, that's too funny. I can't get it. Savage, Dude. yeah. Austin said Savage. That Wait. made me sad. And Let's Asajj see. Ventress. Ah. Savage and yeah, help. Nick said they 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 can do Star Killer, but not a Cal Castus man. So we small. need a Cal Castus, bro. They saw oh. that video game line. They need to revisit too. I know. They we just really need more video need game characters. Jedi though, Steve. Yeah, Jedi we, need, we need Master Chief. Dude, I'd be a lot more honestly, video game I'd be stuff. all in on a on a Halo line. I would be uh, all in. Imagine like some. Oh yeah. Oh man. Hey, just... let's go, Warthog. Give me Maples, a three. Like they... Trying to read this. Yeah. Um Oh man! But we did get the 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 comment over here. Uh, how do I show less? There we go. We got the comment, guys. Make sure you guys are <laughs> doing that. <laughs> I don't know how to like display any of this, so it's, it's difficult. But that was the tease, guys. Um, so here we go. Now I have the next thing. If you guys are if you guys are ready to move on, yeah. May, yes, Master Keys, Chief Diecast, of course. Be fire. Um, let's see. And the next thing I have here is now, are we at a point where we can do this? I think we are. Um, so then with all the crazy news, we'll go to this right here. We got this or that this week, my guys. So, uh, this is going to be kind of a variance one for Marvel. Um, okay. Sorry. It's not star Wars. But um, we can go through this pretty quickly. I believe they're not crazy figures. I'm trying to see how the hell... I don't know why I'm messing with it on this side. There we go. So this or that, we got the um, Guardians of the Galaxy Stanley versus the Thor Ragnarok um, uh, Stanley. So for me, I would love to get the uh, Astronaut Stanley because... That one's packaged so cool. Like, I wouldn't even want to take it out how cool that thing is packaged and how well priced it is. I think I saw it last for like 175 shipped. Yeah. Which is crazy. I saw it on eBay. So, I think uh, both of these used for like sub 150 or like right yeah. at 150. Mm -hmm. I think I think you go to pop culture right now and grab them both. <laughs> and there's or a like code, there's a code, right? For, for, yeah. uh, for pop culture right now. I believe it's tube. So if you guys want 20 uh, 20% off in stock items on Pop Culture, I never had a problem with them. Um, use the code tube T U B E. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm definitely going that yeah. as well. Okay, you're going that as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about you, Danny? Danny? I'm gonna go with. I haven't that. heard I haven't heard Danny in a while. Where you been? I've been listening. Oh, you have. You can go with that too. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. My boy Spots is all about that DC now. He forgot about Star Wars, bro. Yeah, it makes no. me sad. Oh, do you have any Star <laughs> no, Wars anymore, Danny? Yeah, yeah bro. You got on the he 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 got on the bottom on. shelf now. Hold on, Austin. Awesome. You have them both. Yeah. Oh, dope. Wow. Okay. Throw the watch. Well, you have to throw the other one out the window. Okay. Do it right now. All right. Uh, <laughs> Danny, you got the. <laughs> Yeah, no more Star Wars, man. No more Star Wars. It's scary. or well, at least not he does. As much. He does. Yeah, not as much. Yeah. A sad day. Sad day. I like your hat, though. Uh, I like your hat, though, um, Steve. I, I love that. That's the first thing. Oh, I this one. Yeah. I got this uh, Star Wars celebration in Chicago, Ooh. actually, 2019. 
Damn. I yep, need to be yep. blessed to go to celebration. <laughs> I mean, you could buy this hat anywhere. It's just a yeah. imperial. Yeah. I think I'm going to Japan next year. Dude, I want to go. I want to go too, but damn, those prices are expensive. Man. I mean, for I mean, for two people, you, you're gonna have to assume five grand for just uh, yeah. Airplane. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Shit. Uh, Steve, which one are you picking? I'll go with that. Okay. I don't really have a yes. Yeah. yeah. Really, either way for me, That's but cool. I would say that looks cooler. All right. What about you, Zio? Same man. Um, that uh, is so oh, much cooler to display. Um, yeah. You could literally have them hanging from like your ceiling, and it's just like floating in your display or something. Yeah. And you That'd get a fun cool. base, dude. You get a fun yeah. Little um, so it's just pretty cool, man. I think I'd, I'd have more fun with that, like taking like pictures of him like in space than. than oh, this. that would be cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, dude, he could, balances really well too. You, you can have them both like one foot, have the other one kind of yeah. angling. And honestly, dude, you could swap out that head sculpt and probably put like a Deadpool in there and just like just have fun with it. Hey, you know, that is have true. different stuff. Dude, you could do like a face hugger coming after him. Like that'd be dude, cool. Dude, that's you a know, good like, idea. Yeah. Like, yeah. You could do so idea. much with it. So just like you could have him like being like, ah, oh, and there's like a yeah. face hugger on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, so. you could snag up like cause he goes for so cheap. You, you could snag him up for parts and you can make a cool little like xenomorph display with that that's oh, a yeah. good idea carlos austin that is. i have a i have an idea for freeze friday for you uh, yeah uh, and i'll tell i'll tell I'll, I'll text you i'll text all right you. for those I, I don't do photography or toy photography or anything like that but i told carlos i'll i'll try my hand at it next week let's go nice. freeze friday i need to do one too nice dude um let me end the the poll real quick i think this is like the first time we've had 100 percent that on there with hey with Damn. 16 votes too 100 percent that so that's the first time nice. i think so there we go next one's gonna be this one right here so we got 2012 uh cap versus end game cap now end game cap was one of the ones that i really was like whoa like this looks really good so uh so these two we'll start off with you zio we'll go oh. from bottom up to um, goat the first one it, is I'll obviously pull too. america's ass captain america <laughs> and the second one is avengers assemble captain america oh. um i gotta go with that man you got the classic scales on the chest it comes with a broken shield such an iconic moment and a conclusion to an epic what was it 10 years yeah you know that we were together kind of like we grew up watching this so um that is just you know we i mean this is technically from the first movie which is iconic too because it started it off in a way but that is just the perfect perfect uh captain That's america good. in my opinion articulation um just presence in the shelf the shield is really awesome too um which I think Steve said to be careful with, so I'm always careful with the shield. Yeah, be careful with those, like, yeah. the buckles. One of yeah. my buckles broke. Oh, the buckles are terrible. Yeah, yeah one yeah. of mine broke. Actually, my, which is nice, I actually just got Endgame cap, and I I switched out one of the buckles with yeah. my uh, stealth suit cap. So that oh, was nice. nice. That was nice. Yo. It was a bunch of buckles. Okay. Um, What about you, Steve? Oh. What, are, what are you picking? Awesome. Awesome. Sorry, you're going to awesome. say something? You get, are you gonna, do you want to pick? Or? Oh, no. Sorry. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. oh, I don't know if you're gonna say some. I would, uh, yeah, I'd go with that, bro. Man, what an iconic moment! I remember right. watching it in the theater. Uh, yeah, just like, and you kind of knew it was coming, right? We've seen him like kind of move the hammer in the past, and like you kind of knew that this was gonna be a thing, but you're just waiting for like when the moment was gonna be, and it was just such a dope moment mm -hmm. for the goat. Wow, okay. See Rogers, baby. Let's go. I agree with you. I mean, I'm going with that. I mean, I'm going with that, baby. Double, double team Iron Man to win, even a li barely win, not even win. Was Iron Man worthy of picking up Mjolnir? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but he could make Thanos bleed, though. I'd rather have that. Okay, uh, so got my, my got choice. Him, got him. Got him. <laughs> Austin's got him. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, Austin, don't say anything yet. Joey, did you just try to make the argument that Iron Man is better because he made Thanos bleed. 
Hell yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Who else did that? Did you, did you see me try and Thank say you. Him right there? I mean, oh, okay. I mean, All I mean, right. Captain yeah. America right. did not come out with that lightning when he got. Uh, yeah, he bro. needs lightning. Yeah, he knocked come his on. ass down, bro. Come on. Okay, I mean, Tony Stark needs a, needs a suit. Metal, needs an actual freaking suit. It's the same suit. thing. Hey, he made it himself, though. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Tony Stark he, needs a full-on body armor suit to hide behind right. when Cap. All that man needs is a shield, baby. He, let's, he made it though. Go. He made it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Uh, oh, right. You have so many sorry, points sorry. you can argue. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's all, right. all right, go ahead, Austin. <laughs> okay, so I have these. Um, I haven't unboxed them, uh, but this is this is easy. This is no contest. When I think of Captain America Hot Toy, I think of one. It is the in-game Captain America. So I'm going with that. Like it doesn't get better yeah. than this. Yeah. Like this is for me Bro. the definitive. Hot toy. You have you have it or no? Or you've been looking for it, right? Oh, you have no, it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't opened it up yet. Um, yeah. Shout out to William. <laughs> but <laughs> he doesn't get much better than this, though. He did. Yeah, Cap needed a shot. Huh? Oh, I was saying Calvin said Cap needed uh, the shot though, for the, of the uh, the superhero or whatever the super soldier, whatever it is. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Super Soldier thing? Yeah, it's Super Soldier yeah, Serum. Super yeah, Super Soldier. Yeah, it's like hard to say. But yeah, that for me all day. Was a code back you It was a code back reaction. It was a code back Cap's not na Cap's not natty, bro. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> <Cap's> just... <laughs> natty or not? Hey, it, do it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in uh it doesn't matter in the MCU though. And he was selfish. So, you got to do what you got to do, man, to be strong. <laughs> Technically, they're Iron Man's enhanced with the arc reactor. So, yeah, yeah dude, he's got that. He's keeping, that him he's keeping him alive. <laughs> he's got that artificial tech, man. Uh, freaking Iron Man had to go through it in the freaking desert while this dude's all frozen and stuff. No, the only way Iron that. Man was getting out with his with his handmade suit. Hey. <laughs> Hey. And me. He took he took he took the moon that uh that um Thanos threw at him, so it's okay. That, that, okay, that, that was actually badass he, he, that was, he ate he ate that shit. Man, so. Tony Stark friggin' was was aiding the terrorists in the movie of Stark Industries. Hey, missiles, hey, he, fa <laughs> hey he, he found out that hey, it's wrong. One thing that, that Cap would never do is betray his country, okay? There's a reason he's named Captain America. <laughs> Mm. No, just, just say, just say, Tony Stark's the one who funds it all. Yeah, he's your daddy in the end. Exactly. Uh, he's the world daddy. Yes, uh, yeah. That's funny. But I, I don't think Danny is gonna be able to choose this one. I, he, he's gone right now. Okay. But I would all assume right. he cho he's choosing that. I would assume he's choosing this. <laughs> so now we're at a we're at a point where uh, we don't know. Uh, I'm ending it at 22 votes. So let's see what the people have to say. They'll vote for Danny. So that is at 86%, and this is at 13%. So, um, so yeah, I guess I didn't choose a hard one for, for these. Um, next one will be this one right here. We do have the Age of Ultron Hulk or the Ragnarok Hulk, the Gladiator Hulk, as you could say. Uh, for me, this is going to be... a this i believe uh, i know the gladiator hulk hulk is really cool but i want that og look to my display um but let's see i'm gonna go with you austin which one which one would you pick man this this is hard um because one movie is way better than the other realistically one figure I, I, I think than the other one too. i'm gonna go with this you know i'm gonna go with this but i do think that looks like it. that could be a more fun figure though you get it a bit more mm -hmm. with it, but I'm gonna go with that more classic look for the MCU. Yeah, go with the uh, Hulk from Age of Ultron. Okay, okay, okay. I may regret that, but That's, that sounds good to me. What about you, uh, Steve? Uh, I would go with that. I like really? the um, I like the just the Avengers, like the Avengers Hulk. That's the one that I have with like the ripped pants. I like just prefer that look versus I, I just don't like these these pants on this like the ultron hulk, hulk. I just yeah I, I felt that love too. how they look um yeah. i mean it's still it's i shouldn't say like i dislike them but i just i like the ripped pants look more um i think i might like the sculpt more too actually on like the original avengers one but i mean it's mm -hmm. still a cool figure but yeah if i with that being said i think having that one i would go with the ragnarok one yeah like austin kind of alluded to it too it just being like kind of a more just like more fun cooler figure with dynamic. some of these accessories yeah dynamic scott's like these cool accessories it's a cool look and the movie was great um yeah not that age of ultron isn't either but i would go that yeah 
but i like i like the the shout out to the og avengers hulk that figure is awesome um i i know that i don't know if it was someone told me they just picked up the gladiator gladiator hulk again i believe it was philly i could be wrong figure craft i could be wrong though um but what about you? Uh, so, which one did do you think you would have picked the last one, Danny? I know you were gone. Uh, this or that? It was that was twelve so, cap. Oh, in game cap, easily. In game cap. Okay. Oh, you were right. You were right. You're yeah. right. Sure. <laughs> I know Danny. Yeah. Yeah. One six GJ easily. saying that. Uh, uh, and then this, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, for this for this one. This. All right. Cool. 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 Yeah, you almost saying this as well. Uh, what about you, Zio? What are you picking? Dude, I think that is a better figure overall but i love the classic look of this and although i also don't like the pants on this i feel like i could find some like third party pants to throw on him or something and just shred them up and cut them up and make them look yeah. kind of worn out uh but this does bring a good like talking point i do think that we need a 2.0 of the original hulk man um i wish i wish we got something like they could have i'm surprised they didn't do one for him from infinity war even though he was only there for i don't know 10 seconds in the beginning of the movie we got a loki from endgame who was also only there for a few seconds as well yeah. so um i really wish we, we could get a nice that would, um, that would be one of the ones that i would really want them to redo as a mm -hmm. whole and you know what would be awesome if they did something like what they did with Age of Ultron, where the Deluxe had a, a torso swap? That was so mm -hmm. cool, man. Yeah. Like, give me the option to buy a second pair of legs so I can just have two figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know? So, I don't know. It'd be nice. See a lot of y'all talking in here. Um, Cap. Ooh, I saw somebody. Steve Bateman said Cap over Iron Man. Yo, did we lose Austin or am I tripping? I think so. Well, where'd Austin we go? I don't know. Yeah, we lost him. I have no idea. But uh, let me end the. Let me end this. Oh, we're at forty-five percent. Um, so this is at fifty-five percent, and that is at forty-four. So this one was a little bit closer. That was with uh twenty votes. So yeah, sheesh. Like to see that. Um, I don't know where Austin went, but we're gonna talk about uh, one of the last things tonight that I really want to talk about. This is something that is more near and dear to me let's see uh, me and a few other people let's see where are, hold on i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna shout out the instagrams that are affiliated with this i asked them if i could talk about it i'm pretty sure they don't mind um if i did so this is just one of the guys that uh did this and is affiliated with this but there's multiple people that are uh as well so let me See if Austin's still, yeah, Austin's still gone. Let me add this. Here we go. Look at this, guys. So we have this Spider-Man right here. Now, yeah, this is a beautiful figure. And, uh, man, you could just tell the difference. This is what we should have got from Hot Toys. Um, and you could tell, like, some people can't tell the difference. Like, one of my oh, friends, wow. one of my friends asked me, that's not a hot toy collector at all, but he asked me like, or he told me that I post the same, I posted the same Spider-Man over and over and he was talking about this one and he's seen the hot toys one. Oh, this is the same hot toys one, but the other mask. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, there is a huge difference. It's crazy how nobody can notice that, but if you're tra the trained, eye will notice it. And, uh, and you could tell straight up, look at that the he the face sculpt is so much different um i don't know if we have uh if we have a side by side but man that looks really great man is beautiful and especially with the seamless neck like this this is this is what would have made me like really jump on this figure i think from day one um i actually didn't pre-order toby until much later on so this this you can tell right off the bat man like it's it's more screen accurate than to what we got like the what we got is like almost feels like third party compared to this it not does gonna lie. it does like yeah. like yeah. It, it like for, it, it i'll be honest with you man i canceled my, my toby i canceled my toby right. i didn't want send it, it to me Nick, like, please i was like can't do it man i was like i'd rather pick this up or something else like that or the Damn. battle damage that you got 
um mm -hmm. over that man i can't like after andrew bro i'm done like that's it yeah uh yeah that wider that wider neck is too much wider than the head yeah i mean but i would i don't know uh, nick is gonna send over some pictures that i can use that i can show you guys uh the difference and we could see um some differences between it but i just want to give a shout out to all the people that did this like there's so many people you could see the names are right here so if you guys want to follow these people they give kind of updates about things uh what what's going on and stuff so the uh, the igs are right here who are affiliated with this and i just think this is a masterpiece i mean look at this and that's the hot toys body too i don't think there was many modifications at all with it this is kind of a comparison between the two as well man I th the, no, th there's 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 some some like muscular differentiation in there. I think that he airbrushed. That's all he uh, did is airbrushed yeah. the the abs. The, like I think the the suit should have been printed like this, just like the cosplayers do, where mm -hmm. it already has the shading on there, yeah. and it would have made for a better finish on Toby, man. Yeah. Let me see if Nick sent some of the photos. Yeah, he did. Okay. Um. Let's see what I could do. I'm just gonna wait for Spotchka to customize all my figures, though. So <laughs> I know he could he could do Hopefully it too. one day. Hopefully. Know. Okay, let me do that, okay. and let me do this. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna open them good, so we can talk about them. Here's one. Okay, here's one open, and then here's the other one. There we go. All right. So here's kind of the difference that you see. So the Hot Toys one right here versus this newer one, which looks great to me. I mean, God, it's a world of difference. Um, do you guys think that, like, Austin, do you think that Hot Toys should redo uh, another Spider-Man? I mean... With, with the outcry that everybody's had with Toby, yeah, I would say, yeah, right? Yeah. Will they, though? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah, I, I'm not too positive about that. <clears throat> I'm also always impressed when people like Nick and others can, like, pick apart these figures, like the accuracy of, like, the lines or these little mm -hmm. details because I'm, I, I miss that. I, I just don't have the eye for detail with that. I put a little poll down there too, if you guys want to want to um, vote on that. Um, but let me—I thought I had another—I thought I had this other picture. There we go. Here's kind of another difference. So I guess did the body get monetized? Monetized? Um, okay. Modified? Uh, I see cuts. Like I see oh, that that, that tricep, yeah. that bicep. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. It looks like it's got shadowing yeah. on it too. His forearms like, look slimmer on the right, and he's taller like, too practically like me on the left and austin on the right you know <laughs> like that's practically what so we look like side by side. yeah no 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 you got the height over me bro like that's that's good so <laughs> yeah. so that's definitely us right that was austin, us the, I love the drop that, cosplaying i love the fact that carlos i feel like always <laughs> gaslights people and saying like we're the same height or whatnot <laughs> we, like, are, we, we, we are bro we are <laughs> we are oh we look are. see see look uh uh, Prince is saying if they wanted to, they could do another Toby for the Spider-Man 2 20th anniversary. Yes. It yeah. They could redeem that, themselves. But... It just sucks that you even, like, look at how long people waited for Toby, man. Like, I don't know. If... Dude, it, that... just sucks ha it just sucks even having the conversation of them having to redo it. You yeah. know, that's when you know. It's just... Dude, rough. if they did that right to like they could if they did a comic book Spidey that looked like that, that 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 would be great, too, man. That physique on that figure looks dope compared oh, this, to the one. Yeah, no, dude. Bro, what the yeah, heck? like the shading too. Like Hot Toys really, I think, needs to step up on those minor details with that kind of like shading that you know weathering and stuff like that that they have done in the past with some figures. They're just so selective with it. So yeah. I don't know, man. Just wish there was a little bit more to it. It's crazy how like this is the best Spider-Man, and they wanted to put barely any effort into it, which sucks. It just it really it's, does. I don't know, man. Sucks. I don't know. This is the one I was most hyped for. Um, but yeah, that's kind of anybody else. Uh, Danny, you want to say anything about it or? 
if this guy was taking commissions for this, this is something I would be considering, honestly. Yeah, I don't know if he is or not. That's the thing. If he was, I, I would do it too. Yeah, it's really yeah, take a lot of time do. to do. Yeah, I think like you have to take off. I don't know what you have. You would have to do so much. I, I, I see photos like this, and I'm like, it just makes me want to customize figures more and like yeah. actually try to get it. What the, with the ax, ankle extenders? change the height that drastically or is that a whole new body you think i feel like that has to be a whole new body right i was like i'm, I'm definitely no i'm definitely no expert when it comes to this yeah. at all it just well, I, I can't a huge see ankle difference in height. yeah because I, I think someone asked them if they modified the body and they said no i think but they i think maybe they added to. maybe yeah i don't know man and i mean the the suit does look a little bit more stretched out too yeah maybe it is taller and it's just stretched but the more? suit also looks very different like mm -hmm. if you look on the right side it's more matte finish than the glossy look on the left side but, it, so. but if you look at the spider-man symbol they look exactly the same and they're they're ending yeah. this like like say this leg right here is ending Boy, at the same way hating on that figure is web really pie. like stands out to me the most so hey yeah. nick said the customizer told him it's the stock body but heavily modified oh okay so they probably wow. put a few things yeah okay Dang. I'm sure they changed every aspect of mm -hmm. that body. Yeah. He, took, he, he took the super serum. <laughs> 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 Bro, this dude freaking. That's crap. that's not that's Natty's uh, Toby on the left, and then we got we got we got Austin. We got Austin Toby on the right. Austin. It's <laughs> Oh shit. Um, but hey, fun life, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wanted to show you guys that. Um, that Let's one real go, quick bro. and there was one one last question i just wanted to ask you guys you could answer it however you want to if you want to if, if not you don't have to um where the hell i lost it now um it is one i've, I've been doing like kind of a question at the end of the panel here it is for you guys right here so what is the three hot toys that will stay in your collection forever no matter what like no matter what they're staying in your collection see when i get hit with questions like this you could do one too i'm pretty sure three is kind of hard when, when i get hit with questions like this it makes me like really start going through everything i have in here i'm like man mm -hmm. there's still so much that i i need and i should stop putting them off and just actually get them in the collection because there's a few up top of my head i can name i'm like fuck I've waited to grab those. I don't have them yet. At the yeah. top of my head, I'm gonna have to go with Kenobi Vader. Not in like any particular order, but like top three that are coming to me. Kenobi Vader. Um, and they had. I see Clinton. Clinton's trying to uh, for the yeah. right offer. <laughs> uh, say say it's just retail that it's only worth. Oh man, I don't know now. Yeah, I I I know so battle. The assumption I can still have everything out and collect how I do going forward. These are it's just, just like basically it's basically like if if you had to sell like your whole if you had to just then if you had I to sell the whole three. collection um and you but you wanted to save you know three of them and you did not want to sell those if okay i'm going with my hot, my my delorean my kenobi vader and pennywise oh okay you What's had your three do you yeah, I have my three. Um, I'm not going to count my Batmobile because that's not how Toys is jazzing. But first one off the bat, Robocop, man. It's a huge figure from my childhood. Um, yeah. Special, special, uh, like sentimental value with that one. Second one has to do the classic Sue Spidey from the first video game. Also a lot of sentimental value. Uh, great experience picking up that figure and what it represents to me in my life and my time and like that I spent in New York. And the mm -hmm. third one has to be the BVS uh, armored batman i think that figure looks so Ooh. great in any pose man like you could literally have them doing whatever and it'll look like it's straight from the movie yeah. um so those are my three right there man those are my three that i think i will tr keep forever as for as long as i can you know yeah yeah for as long, yeah. yeah yeah okay uh what about you steve eminem yeah this is tough one um it's like three hundred percent uh over on <laughs> kenobi from a new hope Okay. Is, is absolutely one I'll never get rid of. Uh, probably, probably. Uh, as of right now, if there's no other Mandalorians that come out, uh, yeah, Beskar I, Mando, I knew, like yeah, Chrome Mando, yeah, would be one that that show is just really important to me. 
Um, and then my third one, I'm gonna go Umbra Trooper. No, I'm gonna go <laughs> all, like off of Star Wars just to make it interesting. I'm gonna say like the stealth suit cap, the end game, the Ooh, one from end game. Nice yeah, that's that comes nice. with like the the damaged uh, Infinity Gauntlet and like you know the exclusive one because that's my oh, yeah. favorite version of the suit cap is the goat Avenger. Yeah. So I'll go off of Star Wars for my third one and say yes, yeah, Stealth Suit Cap, man, love that figure. Oh wait, wait, can I interject one thing? I'm actually yeah. gonna I'm gonna swap out my Pennywise for my, my Mark my damaged Mark eighty five Iron Man. Mm. Wow, that was one of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Danny. I've got right. to look on this side of the room. <laughs> I'm gonna say Hot Toys Batman, the Batman. Okay. Uh, what other Batman? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say hmm, 89 awesome. Batman, and okay. then the uh, Chrome Mando. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's some nice. Star Wars in there. I know what. What? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could look back. My man, my man. I can't look back <laughs> at any figure, so I have to go off my at the back of my head. Um, for me, it would probably be Battle Damage, uh, Thanos. Or what am I saying? Um, in game, no. what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Battle Mark Game like Mark eighty five. Damn. Um, the next one would probably be. I can't say NR Joker because that's not Hot Toys. Um, crap. Probably Pennywise. I'd keep. I love Pennywise and Myra gave me that as a gift, basically. Oh yeah. And oh, what am I doing? I'm still looking back. Probably uh, I know we just I know we just <laughs> talked so much. I know we just talked so much shit about it, but um, the Toby is just really something that's near and dear to my heart. So probably keep. Toby. Wow, Joey! I'm wow, you sell out. We just gave it so Man. much. Crap. You sell out, Joey. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? Joey said, said Toby. Toby. I said Toby. Oh, come on, Joey. Just just ripping it off. <laughs> Damn, bro. I so now you're now. If, now huh? if they make a new one, you're stuck with that broke ass one forever, bro. I, I was I'm thinking so, like sorry. like uh, Christian Bell Batman. You know, I was like. <laughs> Oh, I, I guess that. so. You know what? Yeah. yeah. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, we'll do Christian Bell Batman. I, it's just because I don't have my collection behind me. I can't look. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's, it's hard to, to Come remember on, Joey. all of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, Let's see if what, what other people said. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. So we got Man of Steel, Superman, Endgame Cap, Black Panther, or Bespin Luke. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. We have Collecting Madness said Anakin Skywalker, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Terminator T800. That's a good Ooh, one, too. Nice list. Um, see, I don't want to miss anybody because I was a little bit more up. Uh, let's see. I saw Steve uh, Bateman uh, had to get out of here, so see you later. If I'm missing you guys, okay. So we have a uh, Ren saying uh, Clone Wars Mall, Nightmare. Uh, and Armored Batman. Nice. I I've seen some of Yo. this collection, too. Nice. We got MB Dyson say Batman Returns. Uh, Mark 6. Why didn't I say no Iron Mans? Oh, wait. I, I did know. say Iron I did say Iron Mans. 85? Yeah, 85. Yeah, never mind. Um, Mark 6 and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Nice. And we got uh, Ricardo saying Robocop plus the chair. Oh. Mark 3 2.0 and Captain Jack Sparrow. Cool, cool, cool. Great list. It is. Uh, Trimble yeah. Dust. What is up, Trimble Dust? How are you doing? I, I don't think I've said hello to you yet. What is up? Sorry. Better late than never. My bad, Trimble. Year, 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 year. Uh, three figs would be <laughs> Nick Fury, Winter Soldier, AOS Ghost Rider, and um, side, Suicide uh, Squad. Suicide Squad. I said it's almost said Sideshow. Um, <laughs> <shot>. <laughs> Got <laughs> us shot. conditioned. Yes. Um, 1973 Wolverine. This is from Yomo. Uh, BBS Batman and Carnage. Carnage Redemption is Yomo. Yomo. Let's go, yeah. baby. Doesn't Yomo always destroy Carnage? That's why. That's why I'm <laughs> telling him Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> um, Batman uh, collectibles is saying 89 Batman, Joker, and Batmobile. That's Ooh, a dope. good one. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, let's see. I know uh, Aaron said something as well. We'll get that, that here. Nothing uh, will stay forever for me since everything will get reissued. No, Joey's stuck with that Toby, even if they do a. Uh... No, no, no. I <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Can't go back. 
It's, uh, I think he's talking to you, is he? Are yeah, you? we're talking about yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, checking out, guys. Yeah, so that was uh, it. That, that's all I had. I thought it was going to be a little bit less of a stream. My bad, y'all. Uh, but we had a good conversation about Jack. Uh, a lot of people turned out today. And, uh, it I like how you're on first name basis with them. Just Jack. No yeah. Captain. No yeah, Sparrow. No yeah, Jack. Say Jack. what's up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, They're both homeboy. captains. That's my homeboy. Um, uh, oh, we got one more um, from uh, Adrian. I don't know... Uh, why there's Green Bay Packers and there probably someone bringing them in here, but uh, <laughs> Batman Returns with Bruce Wayne, Battle Damage, Thanos, and eighty nine Joker. Those are some good ones. Those that Batman ones. Returns, Bruce Wayne, man, that that, that yeah. two pack is sick, man. That's one I wish they would reissue or I could find for a good deal, man, because it goes for like around eight hundred most of the time. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, I want to ask you guys what y'all have coming up. There is 57 of y'all in here. Make sure if you are heading out, hit that like button on your way out with your nose or your elbow or anything like that. That would be well appreciated. And if you can't hit it with your nose or elbow, then just hit it with your finger. But what about you, Danny? <laughs> you got anything coming up? I do. I know. Uh, I'm very, I, I, I know something's coming up. Yeah, Saturday I got a stream with Dan the Bat fan, uh, Movie Ooh. Cannon, and uh, Philly, and possibly I think, you. Yeah, I think I might be able to make make it. Uh, hope, like it might be like a you know I'm in there for maybe like a quick twenty minutes or something because I'm moving everything since I closed. So I, I have to. Move. Austin, if he wants to come on, he can come on too. That'd yes, be cool. Sir. Saturday at five p.m. Yes, uh, especially anybody who wants to come on, I'm gonna have some games. It's just celebrating the character of Batman. We'll talk a little bit about figures, but it's mostly about the series, uh, ranking the movies, nice. just having fun. Um, other than that, uh, I'm gonna be working on some YouTube videos in the background. Uh, my Batman collection's been popping off, so I'm trying to like hell yeah, crack down on that and see what made that so popular. Maybe try to replicate lightning in a bottle because it's gaining me a lot of subscribers, which normally I don't really care about, but like, man. It, Gaining like 50 in the last you know month so nice. Appreciate you. Nice. Bro, i'm there. telling y'all when danny uploads like he, do he doesn't upload as much as we do but when he uploads that thing is a banger and and i appreciate it I love thank yes. you and yes, also sir. watch the uh, zeo lounge and uh the wapoo oh, yeah. also check out the <laughs> and everything that yeah. <laughs> is too sweet man uh Check out Collector Joey and Austin Nichols. Subscribe to everybody in the of panel. Course. We have it all down there. Yeah, Spread I like your love. first video, Joey, of you moving your stuff. Thank you, Adrian. I appreciate it. Yeah, the moving stuff. Crazy video. Uh, what about you? I know, Steve, I know you got a shitload going on right now with uh, with, mon <laughs> with Mono, all this I stuff. I got a bunch yeah. of stuff. Uh, yeah. So tell us what you got because I know you got you, you had – you had um, also uh, uh, a code with um, with Kit now. That's amazing. I think that's awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I reached out to Kit, just seeing if you would hook me up with a uh, code for everybody. So I know a bunch of uh, I know a bunch of other Joey. You Joey, what's your code again? What is it? Collector J. Yeah, Collector J. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, if you use code Sneaker, I know it's a one time use code. I think so. It's right? good to have a lot. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a one time, -time use. use. So it's that's why I wanted to do it too because I. I know, like, somebody keeps, like, a running list out there of everybody's code. But if you mm -hmm. use code SNEAKER, yeah, all caps, SNEAKER, uh, you get 10 bucks off your order. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you guys can check out my review of the prototype, uh, the new case from Maju Space called the Mono, which is this case right behind me here. Kind of like the their Detolf, like, Boleden style case so go check that out if you're uh, interested in that. It's a really dope case if you're uh, into something like that. No, hold on, let me... Um, let me uh... I mean, look at that! Look at that behind him. Oh yeah, yeah. Dang. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dope. Steve, can you go um, grab it and push it forward? No, I'm yeah, like, <laughs> I could pick it up. <laughs> if it, it's really, it is, it is like relatively light. It's easy to move, but uh, yeah. yeah, you can go check out the video. I worked super hard on it. I, bet. I took probably almost all day to do a really good job at that review. So uh, if you go check it out and let me know what you think in the comments, that would be uh, that'd be great. Awesome. Um, my Batman and Signal arrives. I believe Ooh. tomorrow. Tomorrow or nice. Saturday. I got to double check. Yeah. It might be Saturday, but it was. It, it keeps bouncing around. UPS. Have you seen yeah. it in person yet? I have not. Okay. No, I have not seen the Batman in person right. yet. So, uh, really excited for that. Um, I'm gonna do a full on. I know people have been asking me about like my jazzing Batmobile review. I'm doing like a full on Batman video. 
So the Batman Bat Cycle is probably going to be in there. Jazzing Batmobile review. It'll be mostly focused on that. And then I'm also yeah. going to put uh, Juan hooked me up with that flare. Oh, hell yeah. Shout out to him, All dude. Right. I had this like a crazy day at work and I came home and I saw an envelope from him. Yeah. Um, made my day dude hooked me up with a usb flare so if you're that looking for awesome. a batman flare um i'm gonna put Why? that in the video as well so i'm gonna try to make that review really good I'm reviewing the umbra trooper i also have black adam coming in Damn. um i call him black utah now because ups he was in illinois and they shipped him out to utah by accident Oh my <laughs> so now i call him black utah but um anyways so that's coming in uh tomorrow so i'm getting batman and black adam so i'm gonna be doing yeah. a, uh, some figure reviews Batmobile review. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. One other thing I just want to talk about real quick. If yeah, anybody's looking for a Batman, Underground Figures has this like the uh like the basic, like the standard Batman that's that awesome. ships April April fifth. If you want if you're looking oh, okay. for the Batman, April fifth. Uh estimated ship date for yeah, if you're looking for the Hot Toys Batman, yeah. Underground Figures has one in stock. Oh. They also like randomly like have a Mark Three in stock. So if somebody's looking for a Mark oh, Three, um Go check them out. Last thing I'm going to say. I'm no, sorry, Joey. No, you're so good. Much Don't time. worry about it. That's if anybody's for. looking for older stuff like MMS 300s through 500s, mm -hmm. they're 15% off on underground figures right now. And if you email them and mention me when you order it, you'll yeah. get an additional 10% back as store credit. Um, so you guys cool. can always hit me up if you have questions about underground figures. But there's just some really good deals going on in his site right now. So I wanted to mention that. And like, mm -hmm. like I said, the Batman, I know people are trying to sell it for more money. There's literally, I'm looking at it right now, uh, standard edition of the Batman, just uh, ready to be ready to be bought up. So if you guys end up buying some, if you can mention me, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, man, I got a lot of stuff in the pipeline, but it's good. I'm glad. I, it, it's good. It's good to have some uh, some content and to yeah. get some figures in because it's been a while. I'm also streaming tomorrow. Oh yeah, uh, the sneak, sneak, I'm doing sneak an episode peak. of sneak peek tomorrow. So yes, come on over uh, at 8:15 Central tomorrow night. So yeah, I apologize for the really long no, winded no, answer, and I appreciate we're... you guys giving me the time. And I love you guys. I appreciate you guys having me. It's always good talking to you, Joey. Thanks so much for awesome. the invite, man. So uh, yeah, really good seeing all you guys. I love I love us all together again. It's so cool how we yeah. all started. I love it. Uh, but yeah, check out Steve. Stuff's in the description. Appreciate below. it, man. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Austin. My God. A lot less exciting. Than <laughs> so Yu-Gi-Oh review. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> but but uh, I, I try and post every day on Instagram. I get yeah. new figures every week, yeah. and uh, I, yes. I I do plan on trying to film a couple of videos this weekend. I tried filming a review last weekend, and uh, yeah, I did not like it. So mm. uh, that was scratched. <laughs> nah. But. Yeah. Uh, Oh. But we'll, we'll see what happens next. Just like you'll have a compile of all the scratched ones and just put them together. That'd be funny. Yeah, I could. I could. I could show the bloopers. Yeah, like just straight blooper. Like, yeah, I, I, like, I crap. Put that on, on Instagram. I didn't take too many. I got really frustrated. I couldn't find like the right angles for yeah. it. And yeah, I think I got too much in my head of trying to do it a certain way instead of mm -hmm. just doing it your own way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did one of like the White Ranger, and that was like a very much a vlog style of me unboxing it. And I, yeah, I should have straight away. You, that, but, you uh, have your own way, Austin. I know you do. I, 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 everybody has their own way. You should, you should still try to do it. I think. Yeah, I may give it a shot. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens this weekend. But yeah. uh, be sure to follow all of them. They have fun, and exciting things going on. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I think Sneaker's the only exciting one, and and Zio and, and, and Danny and Danny. Danny. It's good to just have some have content it. in the pipeline, you know. It's yeah, just, just makes have it, it easier. Ready. <laughs> yeah. Zio, I see I know the freeze Friday. We're always ready for that after Copper Drop. <laughs> We're always ready. I haven't shot I haven't shot anything, but uh, I'm off tomorrow, so I'm gonna start working on okay. that tomorrow. So freeze Fridays, take a picture, collaborate with others Fridays. Um and then Monday's the Zio Lounge. Awesome. Um box. I had I had a great episode on Monday with Austin on there, Aaron. Um Oh yeah. I it was it was great, man. Yeah. On, on Zeo Lounge yeah. on, on the next one, if I if I can go on there, uh I would wanna open this maybe. Let's go. That'd yeah, man. Cool. I I'll, yeah, <laughs> nice. let me know. You're more than welcome on there, man. I still okay. gotta get Steve on there. I haven't I had yeah, Steve bro. on there. I need yeah, to get him on yeah. there. Um so yeah, that's coming up. We'll push on Tuesdays. Yesterday I streamed on uh my boy Skelly's channel. He's uh, more of a one twelve collector. But uh, you know, I still have some one twelve roots there that I had a chance to, you know, chat it nice. up and stuff. So I had some fun. 
But yeah, other than that, copper drop on Thursdays, baby. Yes, Subscribe to everybody else. Follow everybody else. Amazing people. Great members of the community. Really, truly. You know, I know them, you know, both on stream and off stream. And they really are the same people that you see on, on camera, man. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Yeah. yeah let's go, baby. Um, but thank you. Thank you all so much. I, I love it. All I have is uh, all I that? have is who's that hot toy? And right right now, guys, I'm gonna be honest on the content side of uh, of all this. It's 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 kind of slower because of the move. So if you guys don't see much stuff, just the move videos will be coming out. Of course, uh, I got the first part of me moving all these out. If you guys want to see how all these got taken out, I have a video of that, and you can see that, and you can see how I did it, and maybe if you're moving, have some tips on how to do that course cop or drop on uh thursdays at 9 p.m i don't know next week i don't know if i'm gonna do one or the week after hopefully i can um if i if i could do it in the middle of all this i will and you guys will know on instagram that thursday um but uh but yeah that's basically it uh you guys know if you guys are here you'll probably know um how i upload and everything randomly very random how i upload on instagram as well um but I wanted to give a shout out real quick to how you figure we got him in here. Oh my gosh, four ninety nine! Thank you so much. You don't have <laughs> to do that, Justin, but thank you. I really appreciate it. And channel member two uh, was in and out of the stream, but I will catch the replay. Legendary panel tonight. Hope all of you uh, have a great weekend. Thank you so much, Justin. I w one day we are gonna meet up. Justin also comes out with like announcements and releases the reviews, like kind of what I do as well. So if you guys want two opinions right off the bat. Justin comes out with them real quick. Awesome, awesome guy. I'm not gonna play the the video again, but uh, <laughs> but 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 yeah. Thank you so much. Um, holy crap, we got another member, a uh, Prince uh, Hammer. What is up? Thank you so much for becoming a Joey. I really, every time someone becomes a Joey, like ah, that that's so crazy to me. Nice. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think you do deserve this though. And officials say the kangaroo population has grown rapidly, forcing record numbers of kangaroos into the sprawling suburbs. When Australia's national symbol becomes a nuisance. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So we don't get we don't get tired of that one. Um, and then I did see a uh, member for two months. Yomo hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. Yes, sir. Thank you. Everybody like action, the box, Adrian W Adrian in the chats. Uh, we got Yomo as well in here. Uh, I just lost you for a second. Yomo Clinton, Martin, Aaron collects always in here. Um, Brad as well. Uh, awesome. Awesome people. Trimble dust. Um, Equan too. So thank y'all for being here. We really appreciate it. And we will see you on the next copper drop. So make sure you subscribe. We'll see y'all later. I'm trying to find the freaking ending. All right. Bye.